This is the only place I've ever been in, you know, two, three hundred investigations. I feel confident saying this, this is evil. There's an evil in this house. This is an authentic warning to viewers of this video. The first time we investigated the Sally house, we had hundreds, thousands of messages on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, comments on YouTube from people saying that after they watched our first investigation here, they experienced paranormal activity in their own homes. I got pictures of scratches that people had received on their bodies. People showed me windows that had been broken in their homes. They heard voices. So it's obvious that this place is evil. Sally, if you don't know, is a supposed demonic entity. It's very evil. The activity that we captured here on camera last time was very evil. It's haunted us, it's followed us and it just will not go away. So I wanna caution everybody before we start this video to really consider, do you really wanna open yourself up to this kind of energy? Seriously, this, it's a real warning. I'm telling you this because of real messages that I've received. Please, viewer discretion is heavily advised for this video. Here we are again, everybody. Part two of The Sally House. Now, my name's Colin Brown. I am a documentary filmmaker and a paranormal investigator, host of Murder in America, the podcast, well, co-host with my wife, Courtney. And yeah, the last Sally House video that we did got 1.2 million views at the time of this video's release. And let me tell you, I, went into the second investigation that we did here, not thinking that it was gonna be as active. I thought there's no way that this place can be that evil. It can be that dark, it can be that active. But let me tell you, the footage that you're about to see is extremely shocking. This time, it, this energy, this evil, demonic, whatever you wanna call it, force, affected my dad to the point of causing him to have an emotional breakdown and start sobbing, crying. It caused me to get so angry, I thought I could potentially snap and hurt my parents. This footage is really dark, it's really extreme, and it is 100% real. So the warnings that I've provided at the beginning of this video are, are real. I mean, just look at this. I'm gonna put some of these messages on screen. The last time that we posted a Sally House video. I had thousands of messages across all my social media, comments on YouTube, Instagram DMs, of people telling me that the video affected them personally. I had people send me photos of scratches that they had received while watching the video. I had DMs from people saying that while watching the video, a pane of glass on one of their windows had shattered by itself. Lots of messages from people saying that they experienced very vivid, dark and violent nightmares as well. I don't know if a video is able to affect people <laughs> like that, but seeing all these comments and messages, I got chills right now just talking about this. It makes me really think that yes, it's possible. 
I may have created a cursed movie, something that has affected people. And we're gonna provide you with an additional way to protect yourself before we begin this video. But if you've been watching my channel for a long time, you know that I don't believe in demons. But these investigations coupled with some of the stuff that's happened to me off camera in the past couple of months has kind of changed my mind on how far I'm willing to go to make these videos and if it's worth it doing all of this. But before we get into all of that, I'm going to present you guys with a number of stories from people who watch The Paranormal Files, fans of the show, friends of mine, stories of demonic attachment, demonic activity, stories from people who experience things in their home after watching The Sally House Part 1. I'll see you guys in a little bit, but for now, let's uh, fade to black, get into the stories, and, um, and learn a little bit more about what a demon is. Uh, my name is Marty Lemon. Uh, I live in Georgetown, Texas, and um, really only had one paranormal experience happened to me in my lifetime. Um, at the time it happened, uh, it was not spooky or creepy at all. Um, however, when I recalled it a few days later is when it really was like, whoa, what the heck was that? I was living in Cleveland and I would probably have been eight or nine years old. So it would have been like fourth grade, I think. And I had gone to sleep in my room. I remember that I left the lights on and I had a TV on and uh, it was old black and white TV and it was turned, it was either turned all the way down or it was on mute. As I'm sleeping, like I'm kind of in between like being asleep and kind of being awake, but I started hearing this really demonic screaming, okay? And it starts as this moan. So I'll actually demonstrate it for you. So it started, it sounds, it sounded just like this. Oh my God, dude. It almost sounded like a woman screaming, but like, like a woman with a deeper voice, which in retrospect sounded, sounded very demonic. Something like maybe from the exorcist, like how Reagan speaks when, when she's all possessed. So I hear it again and I'm starting to come out of sleep and it, each time it was basically the same kind of scream and so I open my eyes and I look around and I hear it again and at this point I sit up in bed you know this is where I'm kind of looking around and I can see the TVs on it was playing an old Browns game I remember it was a football game the sound wasn't coming from the TV and the weirdest part about this is that you know when you hear a sound like you hear a scream or something you hear it coming from a direction right? Like you can tell, oh, it's coming from over here or it's coming from over here. The weird thing is, is that it was coming, it was like almost coming from all around, like if I had headphones on or like surround sound in a way and I'm sitting up and I'm looking around. And I, like, like I said, I remember I didn't feel scared or anything. It was just more like, what the heck is that? What's going on? And I heard it again. And at that point, I remember saying out loud, go to hell. And I laid back down. I heard it a few more times as I drifted off to sleep. I don't, it's, it's hard to recall, but I don't think that I remembered it the very next day because I distinctly remember when I recalled it. Uh, I was in uh, a car going to school with some other, you know, we carpooled with a couple of other classmates. And I remember sitting there looking out the window and all of a sudden I rem remembered it. And it was just like, holy crap. It was just like overwhelming, like, like creepiness, like what the heck was that? And I remember explaining it to the people in the in the car. And I remember my friend's mom was, was pretty religious and she said she thought that might've been a demon. And I'm like, I don't know, that was really spooky. That house that I lived in, uh, it was really spooky. Now, not all parts of the house were spooky. There's only like a couple of places I really didn't like to go, particularly this old living room. Like our family room was kind of in a different area and it was like an extension was built onto the house. And then the basement, and this house was probably built in like the twenties or something. It just had a really bad vibe. And something that stood out to me that you said in your videos is you're like, well, you know, when you're at these locations, it isn't necessarily like you're gonna see a figure or you're gonna hear a sound. It's this feeling that you get. And it's only happened to me twice in my life. Once was in that house. I was downstairs doing my homework and the, the dining room table that I was at was right next to like the door to the, uh, the basement. And I'm just doing my homework. And I just was overcome with this just creepy dread feeling. Like I remember looking up and looking at the basement and I was imagining that the devil 
which is funny to think that, that the devil was going to come walking up the stairs. And I took off running, screaming up to my room. And of course I got in trouble because I didn't finish my homework. But like, I was like, no, I'm not going back downstairs. No, I don't care. I'm, I'll take the punishment. I'm not doing my homework like that. That was freaky. Talking about the childhood screaming to finish this out. What do you have any theory on what that was? Was there ever any history you found about the house or was it just something bizarre that you still can't explain? I, I have no idea what it was. I, I don't think it was a ghost because I would not imagine a ghost to scream like that. I mean, if we're going to look at it, uh, of course, my mind is very open to the possibility. There, I think there's a lot of things that we can't explain in our in the world. And uh, I think ghosts are extremely fascinating. Was it a demon? I don't know. Um, it definitely sounded very demonic. That's, I think, what's interesting about your story. Um, kind of even discussing the Sally House thing, because like, Oftentimes, a lot of these demonic, whatever the word you want to put on it, um, these stories and cases, they come from places where there's no like history. Like your house, there's no big event that happened, no satanic murder or anything that would have brought a demon in. Same with the Sally house. Sally wasn't real. You know, no one's ever died in the house. There's no anything like that. And yet there are so many stories from people like you, things that I've experienced where it's just there, you know? Something has come through, it's not there all the time, and then when it is, it's like, I'm gonna f I'm gonna let you know that I'm here, whether it's the screaming or... During the time it happened, I wasn't scared at all. It was, um, it was only after recalling it, it just like, whoa, what the hell was that? That was really creepy. Yeah, when you kind of take a step back and you're like, Maybe that wasn't as normal as I thought it was at the time. <laughs> you know? My name is Anna. I am from Winnipeg, Manitoba, Canada. And my star, my story of uh, an experience with a demon started when I was nine years old. We went to Florida for a family trip um, and we drove back. We were gone for about two weeks. The house that we lived in, someone that we knew they lived in it before us and rented it to us. Their son passed away while we were in Florida. My brother was very good friends with the boy um, and he was having a very emotional time downstairs uh, and I was waiting up in my room and out of nowhere, um, my toy box just flew across the room. Like it was a big heavy box. It startled me and I didn't know what happened and I was trying to figure out, you're nine, you do think a ghost or something, but um, I didn't jump to anything then. I went downstairs and told my parents and then throughout the rest of the year, it was about a year of like toasters popping when they shouldn't be. I know they do that sometimes, but this was different. Uh, the fridge being pushed closed when I would go to open it, cupboards, one time I was standing in my kitchen and I was holding a sweater and the arm was hanging down and it was yanked from my hands. And uh, that that was the first time that it was physical. And it really was, uh, it was really startling for me. Being, you know, nine and 10, I would tell my parents and they wouldn't necessarily, uh, not that they didn't believe me, but they thought that I was being, well, they, they probably didn't believe me. <laughs> and they probably did think that this was a bit of a stretch. Um, but as time went on, I was becoming more and more affected by it. And I was getting more and more anxious and scared. I would not go down into our basement alone, which is where our bedroom was, but I shared it with my brother. So it was okay at night-ish. Um, I would hear footsteps on the carpet. We had 911 called several times from our house but no one was home and there would be times I would come home and there would be police officers there and paramedics and they were like, who called 911? And we would say, no one, no one. And they said it came from the house and it came three times and it was someone breathing and then hanging up. And they were gonna charge us because they thought it was us kids messing around on spring break. And uh, finally the, the police believed us and they left. And um, it was just a lot of scary stuff but nothing too serious until the following summer, I was home by myself. I'm starting to shake as I'm even telling it. I was home by myself 
Um, and we had two gerbils and I was feeding the gerbils and I felt someone watching me and I was in that basement bedroom and the bedroom door was cracked open, maybe about two or three inches. And I looked up and I saw a beat, like a, like a large eye just staring at me. And I was like, okay, there's no way that that's real. There's no way that this is happening. So I closed my eyes and I looked away and I was like, when I look back, it'll be gone because you're just spooking yourself. I looked back, it was even more clear. There was now a face and uh, I looked away and I looked back one more time and it started, I'm shaking. It started smiling at me. This big toothy smile that had like capped teeth, um, a grayish face, but the eyes were yellow. And I was now staring face to face with this. So I went, the only thing I could think to do would be to call my dad. And uh, so I called him while he was at work. And I was like, there's this thing. But he thought I meant there was someone in the house, not what I was saying. So he went silent. And he's like, I need you to get out of that house. And I was like, I can't. It's blocking me in. And he was like, get out of that house. And then I just kind of put the phone on the bed. I took a deep breath and I started praying in my head just that uh, was the next thing I could think to do and while I was standing there I could hear it growling laughing I thought that I I don't know if it was going to kill me but I thought it had me if you know what I mean so I didn't think I was going to be murdered by it but something was going to happen and when I was standing there praying I all of a sudden got this this surge of courage this was boiling up inside me and I just ripped open the door and it was eight feet tall it was so big it was ripped muscly just this disgusting creature its flesh looked like it could come off if i picked at it it was dried out gross and it was it was so gleeful while it was standing there it towered and then i heard in my head run like as fast as i could and it looked at me and I, it just took a step back. I don't know what it saw behind me, but in that moment, I heard run. I like opened the door, ran up those stairs out of my back door that was at the top of the stairs. And then after that, I just like, I, I stayed at my friend's house for the rest of the day. I came home, I was shook. I didn't really talk about it to my parents. Um, and then I just kind of, sat there with it and thought about what had actually happened and started praying more uh, for protection because so I was like well that worked when I was head to head so I'll just keep with that and uh, it seemed to work nothing has happened since so it seemed to like all come to a head with that one and I don't credit myself but I do credit whatever gave me that courage to keep going I gotta tell you when you were just telling that story, I got chills because that is like, that's in, in, incredible. Seriously. It was intense, intense. And like at such a, you know, it happens when you're nine or 10, 11, and that's a young impressionable age. And then from that time, I've never doubted anything about the other side ever. I don't know if it had the effect it necessarily wanted because it brought me closer to a spiritual relationship rather than pushing me away from any of that. All the people that I've spoken to just today about, you know, demonic things, nobody has been able to give me an answer as to where their specific energy came from, which is so interesting. Yeah. It ties into Sally House because there was no death in the Sally House. The whole story is fabricated, but yet there's right. this like evil, powerful thing there. And it's I don't know. I always try to find answers in all of this, but I mean, when you hear stories like this, it's kind of hard to <laughs> to find yeah. one. It's just so mysterious. And that's a crazy story that you have. Seriously, that's wild. It was it was intense. Yeah. Some of my friends that are like, you know, religious or Christian, when they are talking about it, they're like, well, there was a reason why it came from, like it picks you or it, it goes for you. And I don't know what it wanted. I think the part that really pushed me with with the two sides of the coin was whatever I had on my side, got it to back down. And that kind of made me feel more secured in the paranormal. Like if you encounter it, you know that there is 
there's a horrible dark side, but there is also the protected side. And wow. so, I mean, I couldn't imagine seeing what you're describing an eight foot tall, scabbed, smiling, beady eyed <laughs> demon, just, literally a demon. Yeah, yeah, it was awful. Absolutely awful. Okay, everybody, real quickly, this is super exciting. So in this episode, we're actually doing a huge giveaway, the biggest giveaway in the history of our channel. I'm going to be flying one of you guys out to investigate for a night with me. It might be my dad, it might be Courtney. I don't know who's gonna be involved at that time, but I will pay for your plane ticket, I'll pay for your meals, and I will pay for your hotel room just to come along for a night to experience the paranormal files and to investigate with us. So that's gonna be a big giveaway. We're gonna announce the winner of that giveaway away on our Instagram account at the paranormal files but keep watching this video to, to find out how you can enter to win that once in a lifetime opportunity to come investigate with us all expenses paid but let's get back to the video for now um okay so I'm Kai I'm 22 years old I'm from the Netherlands I've been a fan of the paranormal files for almost five years now <laughs> a long time dude a long time <laughs> yeah well I've had plenty of like demonic experiences like the first thing that i can really remember was about four years ago i actually got like pushed down the stairs by something which was kind of creepy yeah i'd say <laughs> i'm kind of like a paranormal magnet wherever i go i experience activity that literally nobody else experiences so and being pushed yeah. down the stairs was that part of a bigger haunting or was that just a one-off event no that's part of a bigger haunting i don't really know actually how it started but it was just i noticed a lot of cold dark energy around me whenever i went to sleep and i'd wake up with like bruises and scratches all over my body. I just decided to really dig deep into my faith. You know, tell the spirit, like, this is a safe haven. You're not welcome here. And that actually kind of helped after a while. Really? Going into yeah. kind of bringing up your faith kind of in yeah, a fight exactly. against this. Yeah. Did that ever piss it off? I mean, yeah, probably because like that time I got pushed down the stairs, that was actually on a Sunday morning on my way to church. Really? So you were heading so, to church and something shoved you down the stairs? Yeah. Like, what did it feel like? Like hands or a force? Well, it, it almost felt like hands. Really? Yeah. Pretty strong, heavy hands on my back. How many stairs? How, how tall were they that you fell down? You know, from the first floor, almost all the way down to the ground floor. Wow. So that's a pretty big kind of yeah. painful, painful drop. Yeah. What'd you do after that? How'd you react? I was freaked out, of course. I just ran out the door. But you really do feel like bringing up your faith and kind of becoming more grounded in that repelled this thing. Yeah. Or whatever, like you just what was it? You kind of stopped seeing the things or you stopped waking up with bruises? Was it gradual or, or it just yeah, stopped? It was, it was gradual, but eventually it did stop. Yeah, that was like four years ago. Really? And nothing, nothing since? Well, I mean, after watching the first Sally House episode, I did experience quite some more things that I was like, um, okay, this is definitely not normal what happened um so like i started seeing like a shadow figure walking in front of the you know door to the balcony in our living room <laughs> and then lights started flickering doors started opening on their own which were actually closed um i heard three knocks coming from inside the office that we have which at that point had been closed for over 24 hours. Hmm. But that all started to happen again after you watched part one. Yeah. That's so bizarre to me um, because, you know, a lot of people have said that, like messaged me or, or contacted me saying that they watched the video 
and stuff has happened to them. And, you know, I didn't expect that at all, but it's really, it's bizarre. I wonder if whatever was haunting you maybe saw you opening yourself up and came back, or I don't even know how the hell that would work, but it is yeah. interesting. <laughs> I, I did really strongly feel that it was Sally. We also started having issues with like our electrical, like household appliances and stuff like that. That's bizarre. Yeah, so yeah, she was really messing with us. Just to point this out, you know, people say that Sally follows people or this energy, you know, it's named Sally. I don't know what it is exactly, but it can almost teleport or however you would say yeah. that to different places. But it's very interesting to hear from you that you were experiencing this in a different country and all these other people were experiencing it in the US and England and, you know, totally different parts of the world. And I was too with all my dreams. So it's, I don't think that it's like limited to one place. I think it's, no, you know, it's... you watch it, you kind of open yourself up and this thing, even like you, you had already had kind of a demonic experience and it like targeted you. Yeah. Sweet. Um, I'm Nick and uh, I'm from Ohio. I'm Jenny. I'm from Ohio. And so basically, uh, this all kind of started, which it's it's kind of wild because I live in a trailer. I can't really fully make sense of the activity. Um, it first just kind of started with like walking and stuff. Like you hear walking, uh, you would see like mists and it was just like kind of just like harmless stuff, but it was like weird, but there it, it's like really heavy in the living room. You know, when like you see something that the image is just burned into your brain. Well, like it won't go away. I wake up and I'm petting my cat with like my foot like normal because like they sleep on my legs. I'm doing that and I don't know how else to describe it other than if you're under the covers and you get like a pizza roller, like a cutter, it didn't feel like a cut. So like you have like a like a comforter on and then someone lightly like just goes completely diagonal across you like really fast and then it's like you feel it like right in front of your face you know like something's there and then i just like open my eyes and look up because i'm like what the hell i see this like a t i want to say a 10 year old little boy who drowned in a lake and his body didn't get found for days blue skin like blue and like purpley like dead from drowning bull cut with like gargoyle wing type things and it's like you look at the eyes is like that's what like really it's just nothing like it's just, it's just black like pitch black no glare just pitch black and then the scream like you like i cannot forget that scream the jaw went bigger than a normal jaw like so it went like wider like unhinged type thing and it the scream was like if a thousand people were screaming in terror at the same exact time is the only describable way i could do like even say that but like that image like it is just burned in my mind forever and it's like i don't really sleep in my room anymore i i feel like that's where it hangs out is like in my room and it's so to clarify that you woke up felt like the pizza thing across you and then you saw the little kid that screamed at you yes you know when you're like uh well like procrastinating to go to work last alarm you know you got one more i was just sitting there like petting my cat and then just the pizza thing happened it's one of those like did i imagine that that just happened type scenarios and you open your eyes expecting to see nothing and then just boom like right like in your face like i guess like here like just right there and like you could just see is it can't like not unsee that like i could probably draw it <laughs> like still perfect i still like don't really sleep in there i sleep on my couch now like i might have accidentally like did something once 
I had a moment where like, I essentially like kind of like died in my bed before, but like came back. Like I went through the whole, like you're floating up and see your body thing. And I like shook myself out of it type thing. And I was like, whoa, did this just happen? And then after that mm -hmm. is when a lot of stuff started just popping off. I don't know if that had something to do with it because I technically, I left it because that it wasn't a dream. Like it's like, cause you could feel it mm -hmm. with that. I don't know how to describe that. So almost like an out of body experience may have attracted something to you. Yes. I am kind of a psychic in ways like um, I, I know how to astral project. I can sense spirits, all of that kind of stuff. Before like me and Nick started dating, I did this like really creepy drawing. I was like, oh, I gotta show you because we were just meeting, we're both artists. I was like, I gotta show you this picture. I wish I had it, I can't find it anywhere. And I showed him and he like freaked out. He's like, oh my gosh, you don't understand. That's the thing I saw in my nightmare. Like, in, but not nightmare, but that's what he saw, like the little boy. When I first started hanging around him, I would hear the footsteps. When I astral project, I don't always know when I'm gonna do it. And my sleeping brain was like, let's tell them that they need to back off, you know? So I did, and I walked out and the little boy was in the hallway laughing and stuff. And I'm like, I know you're not, I know that that's not what you look like. I need to see, show me who you are because you're not this little boy. And he was wearing, uh, Nick used to play soccer. He was wearing his soccer jersey and looked like him. He wasn't blue at the moment and he laughed at me. And then all of a sudden I like got pulled back into my body and I woke up and I was like, that was a bad idea. Yeah, that's kind of scary. <laughs> the song, yeah, I, the plot I don't know. of the movie. <laughs> it, it really like that's see when we tell people they're like really and i'm like no like this stuff happens it's like the little things that happen will be changing and i'll be like whoa and he'll like have like three scratches down his back i've had scratches down my shoulder i actually i think around the time that the shadow thing came towards me i had a scratch on my leg that lasted for like two weeks really and, yeah that yeah, it was pretty bad. Most of the time, the scratches will fade within like a few hours. This past weekend, he got three scratches on his back that lasted through another day. Two weekends ago, I saw the little boy for myself. I knew when Nick described it how scary it was, but I couldn't believe like how actually scary it is. I was laying in bed next to him and I felt something staring at me. And some will often feel that in the bedroom because like he said, that's where he is mostly. So I'll feel it a lot. I'll open my eyes, nothing will be there. This time I opened my eyes and he was like right here next to my face. And his eyes were like so black, you almost feel like you're falling into them. I was so scared that I thought I screamed. Like I thought I actually screamed, but Nick was like, you never made a noise. The only thing I could do is shut my eyes and I couldn't even like move like in bed. I was just, it was so terrifying. I remember falling to sleep that night praying. So at the end of the day, you guys have seen a child with black eyes, distorted jaw, screamed at you. You both have seen this child. You're getting scratched, you're getting choked. This is very, very scary activity and you would classify this as demonic activity. Yeah, I definitely, definitely would. First it was like calm, but I definitely, it, it's so much, so violent, you know what I mean? And again, that thing, when you look at it, it's like you're looking into the pits of darkness. It is purely angry and just, and it's like the most terrifying thing. So I'm Janelle, I'm from Manchester in the UK um, and this is my story really. So mine was at an ex-boyfriend's house and we had a negative spirit. When I was staying there we would constantly hear doors banging, heavy footsteps walking up and down but no one would be there. Um, I'd hear whispers, hear voices and you could just feel the negative energy constantly like it wasn't nice at all. But me being the big I am, I got drunk one night and decided it would be really fun to challenge it. Big mistake. 
Because then I woke up the next morning with three scratches on my leg. Really? Yeah. How how big or how deep? What did they look like? They weren't massively deep, but you could see like where he dug in a little bit. Yeah, so that was pretty freaky. So I was like, right, that's it. I'm not going to challenge it no more. Like I've learned my lesson. But after that, like when I would stay there, you'd constantly feel it watching you. I could never sleep when I was there. The room just felt really dark. You could always feel like there was just someone watching over you. It wasn't nice, but I don't think it ever followed me. So I think it was just attached to that house because the house was an old prison from like years and years back. Really? Yeah. It was an old yeah. prison? That's so interesting. But when you left the house, it stopped. Yeah. So it was this kind of darkness that was just attached to that property. Yeah. Um, so I am Jasmine from Bad Cat Paranormal. And I am Andrew, better known as Proving Demons. And uh, yeah, where do I begin? This year has been an absolute nightmare for us due to a demonic attachment that we have been uh, basically documenting. If we were to start at the very beginning, yeah. basically, I met Jasmine last year. Um, I was in a very dark place of my life. I had just gone through a breakup, very confused. Me and Jasmine had been talking for a long time. We met up, became very good friends, and we decided not to film, but just to go out, go something, so I could show her the ropes of it. Yeah, because I was a bit of a skeptic as well. Like, I do believe in the paranormal, but one thing I definitely didn't believe in was demonic attachments. I just didn't. It just wasn't something that's ever been in my life at all. There was this farmhouse we were tipped off to that no one else had found. It was abandoned. All we knew that, um, well, we didn't really know anything about it. The Nothing. spirit box was what was telling us things about it. During one of our investigations, I saw a rabbit's foot on the ground, a mummified rabbit's foot. And I figured, oh, that'd be kind of cool. Maybe it's a lucky rabbit's foot. Turns out yeah. it was an unlucky rabbit's foot because ever since then, we had nothing but hell happened. Really I'm, bad luck. People were dying around us. There were like three or four funerals we all ended up going to. Like individually as well. Yeah. We lost a lot of people in that time. I was getting EVPs, well, in both of our houses that were so crystal clear, just making threats, calling himself the, the monster, monster. And it's and to play. Yeah, all. it wanted to play yeah. all the time. It would just say play, play, play on every device we had. Anywhere we were as well, it wasn't we weren't going back to this same place and ghost hunting. We'd still be getting the same voices wherever we went, saying the same thing. And it was just too hard to ignore because I was so basically ignorant to demons. I was, I'm just not a very religious person. I've never thought about demonic entities. Like I obviously believe in dead souls and lost souls. And that's what I was always looking for. Over about two months, I was just progressively getting depressed, like to the point where I couldn't get out of bed. Um, I was getting really angry with people. I ended up leaving a job one day because I couldn't talk to customers who'd walk in the door. I'd be in tears all the time, just anxious, anxiety attacks. I'd be calling him. He lives on the other side of the country. This is the other thing with demonic attachments. No one believes you. It's the most isolating feeling in the world. And you feel crazy the whole time. Like you don't know what it's coming from or where it is. And you don't know if you're making it up. So I was super lucky to have Andrew believe in me and be there with me through it. Well, yeah, my depression, anxiety, and everything was going through the roof. The EVPs were happening in my house. Mm. I had a glass jar I kept this rabbit foot in, right? And it was in my cabinet, and the cabinet door started opening by itself every now and then. And I would just be sitting there, and it would be crazy. There, were, I once in my house had a power outage. Oh, yeah. And, oh, my God. It, this is what freaks me out. That night, I was sat there in the house, by myself, I lived on my own at this point, questioning, why do I feel like this? Why is this happening? And I said out loud, I hate this, this is a true story. I asked out loud, am I possessed? I shit you not, every light in every house on my street went out, out, completely out for about two seconds, went right back on, all the alarms were going off on other people's houses, right? Yeah. And the cabinet door, once the light turned back on, swung open yeah. right in front of me, right? We actually held on to it just to see like what, what it was capable of. We wanted to experiment with it. It's our job. Of course. So. Yeah. Um, we It got to the point we couldn't take it anymore, right? I would sit up at night calling churches. I shit you not. Spiritual churches, actual churches, asking, is there anyone that can come around and help me with this? None of them were interested. Nobody wanted to help Nobody us. cared. We ended up in the end 
bringing it back to the house. Um, this is a whole other story to it, though, isn't it? It's, it's still the it whole story. It continued throughout the game. It, it was, um, I ended up filling the jar with the rabbit's foot with salt and turning it into a Dybbuk box. I, I did it properly, and I sent it back to the house, and I hit it. I literally hit dropped it. it under the floorboards of the house, and another channel who watched my videos thought it would be cool to find it, pour it out, point at it, and go, ha ha, look, it's the rabbit's foot. All of a sudden, everything, all of our it, lives it, all fell came, apart it came back again, right? So we went back, found the rabbit's foot. Yeah. I ended up cutting up a, a blessed Bible, right? Putting the rabbit's foot in the Bible, sealing it, covering the whole thing with wax, and we chucked it in the ocean. And I, I, I think it's still around. We still think it's around. We That's think the it, problem? it broke the attachment slightly, but I feel it lingering constantly. So I don't feel 100% safe from it even now. Well, the bad luck just kept bad continuing because the car arson and all of that. Mm -hmm. I shit you not, and I hate this, but after my car got arson that night, we heard the bang, car went up in flames, okay? I know it was some idiot out there who's done it, right? But why it was targeted at me, no idea. The most fucked up part of all of it is while I'm frantically calling um, UK police line, which is 999, the, ca the cabinet door swung open again while yeah. the car was burning down and we were panicking. Yeah. So uh, Jasmine and her partner ended up uh, coming out and bringing us we, there. And, yeah, we just drove and got him straight away. And just couldn't. stayed, yeah, stayed at yours that night. My sister drove all the way up yeah. uh, 250 miles to come and pick me up. In a way, I don't want to give the monster all this credit for all our bad luck because I don't want to give it the satisfaction. I don't want it to think it could just be coincidences as well but i don't believe so because i don't believe it anymore and whenever i get i get horrific dreams like that i've never had before as well which is another reason why i thought this is definitely demonic like i'd have dreams i couldn't talk about at the time where i'd have a whole night of sleeping of just watching everyone i've ever known being horrifically murdered and it was so real i'd wake up like with scratches down my arm crying like mentally completely abused by it. That's what I definitely got from it. Let me ask you guys, what do you think it is? What is the monster? Like, do you have any idea? Has it told you anything? It doesn't, it just tells us it's evil. It's the monster. It's bad energy. It's bad luck. It's something that just completely sucks the life out of you. Every bit of happiness you've got, it takes it without you even noticing. And that's what I think demonic energy is. And I, in my experience, have come to find that, yes, demons do have a tendency to pretend to be kids or little girls, mostly. When we first heard the monster introduce himself, we were in, funny enough, I think I may have took you there, Colin. Once oh, yeah. The, the, the uh, Wentworth Estates, while you were here in the UK. Um, we were there doing a ghost hunt, and I caught an EVP so crystal clear, I actually teared up. It just said, I'm the monster. Yeah. And I knew from that point on, that is exactly... We just knew as soon as we heard that, we both knew that's yeah. it. It is an attachment. It is something following us. Like, we have to deal with it. And it was like the scariest thing I've ever had to deal with, to be honest. It's a real personal battle, battle with a demon. So you guys would basically tell people to be very careful when you're doing this, this type of stuff. Don't be ignorant to demons. Stay the... Away Stay from away me. from them. Seriously, <laughs> real talk. If, if you're asking me to give a message to your viewers, don't do it. Don't. Again, do I have to listen off? This is in a year. Four deaths, car arson, homelessness, absolute anxiety, depression, torment, Loss of darkness, everything, everything you could ever imagine has happened. It, the whole world, as we know it, has turned upside down and it still doesn't seem to be over yet. That is crazy, guys. Holy yeah. shit. I hope that all works out for you. Damn. Yeah. We're, we're, <laughs> we're working on it. It's, a work, working it's on a work in progress. It's been a year now, and we're just going to try and figure something out at this rate. Until then, it's an ongoing thing. Yeah. Wow. Well, guys. Uh, oh, my God. My uh, internet. Internet. <laughs> Holy shit. And my internet started. Yeah, you're freezing a little bit. <laughs> it hasn't happened with any of the other interviews, just you guys. <laughs> Weirdly enough. Wow, oh, that's interesting because it turns my equipment off a lot in here. <laughs> hmm. Well, shit, I better cut this call off before it comes over to America. <laughs> wow, those stories are 
crazy. I can't believe some of the things that people have experienced, whether it was after watching my video or just living in their own homes. It's shocking and to hear all those voices, to hear all these perspectives, it should show you that this activity is real. There is a darkness, there is an evil out there in the world. And the Sally House really is a place where that darkness is real, it's tangible, you can touch it. I know a lot of people, it's very strange, a lot of people have been to the Sally House and they reported that it was just like every other house. It wasn't, you know, super active, it wasn't frightening. But then you have the other half of investigators, people who swear they will never go back to the Sally House, like Elijah, who we interviewed in part one of this video series, who said that he refuses to go in the house. Remember, when we interviewed him, he was visibly shaken and he was terrified to even be there in the building. And that's a good transition point into me being able to tell you about what happened to me after we filmed that that first video. As we all know, the Sally House is evil and Sally is known to follow people, this entity or this energy that they call Sally. I know Sam and Colby have talked about this after they filmed at the Sally House. I know a bunch of paranormal groups from Kansas who've told me and warned me about this location. I even tried to get a psychic to come out to the Sally House to get a read on what's going on in there and none of the psychic mediums that I reached out to would agree to come to the Sally House because they're so afraid of what's there getting attached to them. So let's rewind. Last year, fall of 2021, our first visit, immediately after filming there, I was plagued with nightmares. Uh, in our last episode, I drew out some of those nightmares. They were dreams about self-harm. They were dreams that featured creepy faces of potential entities. They were dreams that almost provided me with some sort of a warning about what might happen. After seeing all of that, we cleansed ourselves. We used white sage in Kansas still. We went and saged myself. We saged my wife, Courtney. We saged my mom, Mary, and my dad, Jeff. And we all thought that that was it. That would be the end of the story, but it was far from it. As the months progressed after our first investigation at the Sally House, things, just weren't the same. I was getting angry. I was dealing with some issues of my own in my personal life, stuff that I had to deal with that were not so pretty, stuff that I can't really talk about on YouTube. Courtney and I were experiencing almost depression and anxiety and a really weird form of it that came from almost nowhere. As all of this was happening, we got married, which was absolutely amazing. It was beautiful. And we had a lot of really good things happen in our life, but Throughout all of that, I was suffering from very intense, very disturbing sleep paralysis. Now, if you don't know what sleep paralysis is, nobody really knows what causes it. Even in the scientific community, there are theories, but there's no real answer. Basically, you wake up, you're awake, but you're almost asleep. You can, for me, I was able to see the room around me. My eyes were open, but I could not move my body. And that's where the paralysis comes from. And time and time again, I kept having these vivid nightmares where ventriloquist dummies, my old biggest fear when I was a kid, uh, were chasing me around. I was having dreams of houses and, and strange places and they always had this really weird fear that was definitely not your average nightmare fear. This was something different that was hovering over me. I had these dreams in Austin, Texas. Almost every time when I had one of these dreams, I would wake up and I would hear something moving around in my apartment. And after a couple minutes, I'd be able to snap up and, uh, and describe what happened. Now, I did a whole video on the channel about my sleep paralysis. Uh, the link is in the description of this video. But as a brief overview, I was having these dreams in Austin. I was having these dreams on my honeymoon in Hawaii. I was having these dreams in Philadelphia, where I live right now. Um, when we came to tour apartments months ago. It was really scaring me. I was reaching out to people in my life and friends, family, other investigators, asking them what I could do to try to get rid of this. And it all culminated one night when I was here in Philadelphia. I woke up, I heard people in, in the hotel room that we were in moving around and, and doing stuff where I couldn't see. And then I felt what felt like Courtney roll over in the bed next to me and grab my arms and shoulder, or my arm and shoulder, and push me down into the bed. I felt myself going down into the bed. 
And then something leaned right up to my ear and said, I'm the demon. Just like that. I'm the demon. Right into my ear. I, f I woke up screaming. I got goosebumps just talking about that because seriously, all my hair is on it. I don't know if you can see that on there. Um, because that was unbelievably frightening. And I didn't know, obviously, what the, what the hell that was. And then even that next day in Philadelphia, the taxis around here, their number is 666-6666. And I was seeing these almost satanic, demonic numbers and symbols. But after that, it subsided. I didn't really have sleep paralysis past then. But then we get back to the Sally house. That's where the story takes an even darker, deeper, more twisted turn once you see what all of this was leading up to, our part two. Now, I don't know if I wanna go back there again. I probably would because whatever's there needs to be researched. It's so bizarre and it's so interesting to me, but it is dangerous. Before we get into the video, I am gonna interview really quickly Bishop James Long. He's been on Ghost Adventures. He was on the Ghost Adventures Bobby Mackey's episode, the OG episode from the show. I had a few questions to ask him about just what a demon is, the dangers of dealing with them, and I asked him to do something for our video to protect you guys. So I am Bishop James Long with the United States Old Catholic Church. I serve as their chief exorcist. I studied with a Roman Catholic priesthood for six years. I knew I wanted to be a priest when I was five. I remember pointing at the priest that we were at the, the church and I told my mom, I want to do what he does. And I remember reading the books on demonology at nine. And I didn't know why I was just, I became obsessed because I, I wanted to know the opposite of good. That was just very important. I, I grew up Roman Catholic, cradle Catholic all my life. And it was very important for me to understand the opposite. And I, and I didn't know why, but I, I just did. Um, I had a recurring dream uh, in my teenage years that was very violent. And I think that also uh, formed me into the desire to uh, to serve as the exorcist for the church. So I, I studied for the Roman Catholic priesthood. I studied with the Benedictines and the Jesuits. I graduated from Loyola University in Chicago. I have my a doctorate in ministry and a master's of divinity and a master's of education and master's of business. Really, I decided through prayer and discernment uh, and through spiritual direction that God really was calling me to serve within the old Catholic church uh, because I wanted to be able to serve everybody regardless of ace, rage, gender, sexual orientation, religious, or, or I, just, I just wanted to reach it to everybody. 20 years ago, I didn't want to go public with my ministry. I wanted to stay private. You know, I've been in the paranormal field for 35 years. And back in the day, we, in the paranormal community, we actually communicated through Yahoo groups because there wasn't any social media. I mean, that was the place to go. And there was no clergy helping the paranormal community. There was none. People kept telling me, we need your help. Uh, and I didn't want to go public because I'm a very private person. I didn't want to go public. And I did. So I, I, and then it just exploded. Then Ghost Adventures uh, contacted me, Zach Bacon's, and we did uh, the Bobby Mackey's uh, three episodes there. And then of course the Travel Channel and National Geographic and History and all those other channels that, because it was new. It was something that was very rare. It, it just wasn't there. That was, uh, I, I didn't anticipate uh, the craziness. I mean, truly, uh, not only, you know, let people know about the United States Old Catholic Church, but I, I didn't anticipate even the, the death threats. Uh, and uh, it was it, when I was going around teaching in paranormal conferences, the death threats were so severe. They had to hire police officers to actually be around me because the death threats were getting really, really aggressive. I'm thinking, what is so aggressive with me just blessing people's homes? So as of today, I performed 30 documented exorcisms on people who are validly possessed. And I've blessed thousands and thousands of homes. I've never charged, never will, never have. So I think the, uh, the question uh, that many people have are, well, what are demons? And there's a lot of theories on this. And so the, a lot of people will say, well, the spirits of deceased evil people, that's incorrect. It really is proved false by scripture because uh, evil people are in Hades after death. It says that Luke chapter 16, verse 23. And furthermore, it's two different natures. A angelic beings and human beings are two completely different natures. So we cannot be that, nor can they be us. Interesting. So in your belief, demons to kind of clarify for people are basically fallen angels that they are they are fallen angels yes so they what what in your opinion what would cause like let's say a demon to want such negativity out of the world what's the 
where does the negativity come from? Was it the fact that they chose to rebel or? Yeah, it's, it's, I think it's the very nature, the very hatred towards God. Right? You know, Lucifer was so prideful and so envious and so hate and, and, and truly hated the fact that we are created in the image of God. Remember, angels are here to serve us. And Lucifer, in his pride and in his hatred and wrath, refused, absolutely refused. And because of that wrath and, and that evil, he completely rebelled against good. And he is rebelling always against the very one that God loves most, which is us. And people ask, you know, why does possession occur? Well, what's the point of it? You know, I, I thought about that a lot from a theological perspective. And the only thing that makes sense for me from, I guess, a human perspective and uh, an emotional perspective is how, how can you hurt God? By hurting the ones he loves most. But at the same time, many times it is through our own free will that we have accidentally uh, you know, invited the demonic into our lives, whether it be accidental or purposeful. Uh, we we got to be very, very careful about uh, what we're doing and how we go about, especially with paranormal investigating. Uh, that's very, very important. We can talk about that in a moment. I guess that kind of parlays into a question that I was going to ask. Could you give me one story of a exorcism that you've done? one that kind of stuck out oh they all stick out i mean the, the the thing is is when i perform an exorcism on someone number one i don't i don't ever perform an exorcism on command ever so if someone tells me that they are possessed I, okay well how do you know it is stringent uh, requirements of steps before i will even get involved with the case and it should be because number one i am not trained in psychology and i don't want to accidentally lead this person into a deeper psychosis. So perhaps maybe they are in a, in a state of a psychotic state where they believe that they are or they, there's mental illness. I don't want to cause more harm. We require a psychological evaluation. That is non-negotiable, non-negotiable. Uh, because if you perform an exorcism on someone with disassociative identity disorder, which is multiple personality, you can create another personality. Or if a person who is a paranoid schizophrenic, you could put them in a psychotic state. They could commit. So it's very dangerous, very dangerous to begin to speak to someone who thinks that they're possessed without you knowing full well what are, you know, what's the, um, I guess, the emotional state of the person, the psychological state of the person. We got to know this. We have to know this. So uh, the 30 exorcisms that I have performed, uh, they have all, in many ways, they're some ways in the, they're the same, the parlor tricks of the demonic. I would always say that the first one was probably uh, the the one that stands out the most. I you know I, I've read books on demonology all my life. I've studied intensely even when I was in the seminary on Satanism and the occult and possession. Uh, and you, when you read and you study and you and you get the book knowledge, that is totally different when you're in the presence of a demonic entity. You don't need a psychic or a medium to tell you that there's a demon that's present. Uh, it is it's very overwhelming. The oppressiveness is 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 unbelievably intense. Her eyes went solid black. And when I lifted up her eyelids to see, she suffered from transient possession where the demonic will enter the body and leave at will. And so when I lifted the eyelids, the eyes were complete solid black. I could see my reflection and I couldn't move. I couldn't move, I couldn't think, I couldn't talk. I couldn't say help, I couldn't do anything. I really felt that was the one time in my life I felt, and the only way to describe it is I felt like prey. And I, it was, I would describe it, I've described it before as like a, you know, a rabbit being cornered by a pack of wolves and you know what's going to happen. There's no way to escape. And that's what it felt. It was, it was the most vulnerable, horrible, gut-wrenching feel. I didn't like that feeling. I didn't like it at all. And, and that was a form of intimidation. Uh, the contortion of the body, the vocalization, uh, the mimicking of my deceased aunt who passed away, the voice of my deceased aunt occurred, the temperature changes, dramatic temperature changes. Uh, it was just, but these are parlor tricks to, to frighten you and and uh, and you just continue the, the, the right. Uh, the demonic will try to use your, the sins of the priests or the clergy, the exorcist against them. That's why we go to confession prior to performing an exorcism. And it's not because they can read your mind. There's two types of demonic activity. There's extraordinary, and there's ordinary. And ordinary demonic activity is when the demonic will influence you, attempt you to sin. So let's say you suffer with lust or greed or, or, or whatever it might be, and you fall into sin. That's ordinary demonic activity. Extraordinary demonic activity, that's where the stages you get into demonic infestation, oppression, and possession. I was great friends with Lorraine Warren. Loved Lorraine. She was just a, a sweetheart of a soul. And many people know, because at the Conjuring movies, they, they talked about demonic infestation, demonic oppression, demonic possession. There's another stage in there, it's called demonic obsession. But that's extraordinary demonic activity. You have to make sure that no matter what 
what you do, and, and if you're performing the minor rite of exorcism as an exorcist, or even the solemn rite of exorcism, you have to always accept Christ as your personal Lord and Savior. You have to be validly ordained, and you have to be properly trained. Because remember, it said Jesus breathed the Holy, uh, Holy Spirit upon the disciples, and then he said to cast out demons. Very important. People forget that ordination uh, prior to uh, to then being called out to serve in this ministry. And this ministry is not something you choose to do because you're bored on a Friday night. With the old Catholic, the United States Old Catholic Church, our clergy are allowed to be married. We can be celibate. We can be single. So we have that option. In 2004, I'm, I'm a Benedictine. So I have taken my vows as a Benedictine and I have taken uh, my vows of celibacy. So because I've devoted my entire life to this ministry, I don't think it would be fair to bring a family into this because of you know what I see and, and experience. So this is something that you, you don't choose because you're bored on a Friday night. Uh, you, you do uh, because God has called you to do. So I know I've been long winded and I apologize. No, I'm, I could listen to you talk honestly for hours right now oh there's a lot there there's a lot yeah there's so much the sally house that's a question that i have yeah you have experiences with the sally house would you say that that is a place that is infested or is it i, I can't really tell what the energy is there what what is your take when you're dealing with a uh, demonic activity especially within homes extraordinary demonic activity the the first stage is you have demonic infestation so let's say you're a paranormal investigator you go out to a location it's known to have demonic activity and you say people say this all the time is there anyone here can you do something i dare you to do something i dare you to push me you come on. they think that's provocation no it's not that's invitation there is a big difference between the two because you see if, if you're going to a place and you're you're pumping your chest i dare you to do something i dare you come on you're not so tough demon you see the demon is literally inches from you smiling and saying oh i will i'll do something when you're lonely and you're depressed and your wife or your husband leaves you and you lose your job and you can't pay your rent or your mortgage and your whole life comes shattering down that's when i will provoke back now you have an attachment you go home now you have an infestation so the demonic has infested itself within your home. So religious objects are desecrated. You'll hear bangings of three, as I told uh, Zach many, many years ago when he got scratched. You know, that's a sign of the uh, mocking of the Trinity. But there were other things that was going on. It wasn't just because he had scratches. It's because there were other things that were going on that clearly made me determine, okay, there's a, there's a demonic issue going on in, with Bobby Mackey's. But the religious objects are desecrated. The bangings of three, uh, animals are terrified. You will smell the, the sulfur. And the reason is sulfur is because Revelation talks about how the demonic entities will be thrown into the lake of sulfur in the final judgment. I, I, I'm a chaplain for the police department. And unfortunately, uh, you know, when you go to places where there, there's a body that has been decaying for a while, there's that smell and you can never, ever, ever forget it. And it, it is that horrible putrid smell that oftentimes that will occur where people just literally cannot stay in their home. They just can't, it is that bad. And then you have what's called demonic oppression. So demonic oppression is when it begins to attack you physically. So it will bite you, it will scratch you, it will pinch you. Um, it will hit you, uh, you will see it. It's breaking the will down of the person. You can't fight, you're exhausted. I mean, you literally are just beyond. If you're auto compromised, you, you can't fight. At the same time, demonic uh, obsession is when it's attacking the intellect and the intellect you hear the demonic speaking to you. It mimics schizophrenia. It tells you you're not loved. No one's going to, they're going to put you in a, in a mental institution. Uh, it, it will tell you, it, it, you hear these things. And this is what Annalise McKell, for example, a, a Emily Rose, she would describe these, these, these events. Now, once the intellect and will of the person is eradicated and the person can no longer fight, then you have what's called possession. Now there's full possession where the demonic is at a constant stage of possession, where there is no relief for the body. And then there's transient possession, where the demonic will enter the body and leave at will. Both are very dangerous. So, for example, the, the movie The Exorcist, the pea soup, but that's legitimate. And the reason is that's legitimate is because if you try to give the, the, the body substance of life, food or water, the person will regurgitate violently. So malnutrition dehydration is the number one cause of, uh, of death for someone who is actually possessed. That's why when I perform an exorcism, I have someone who's trained in the medical field. They're monitoring the vitals. They're making sure the person's not going into a heart attack or stroke, because remember, the body has already gone through extreme trauma to lead up to possession. That's what the stages are. When it comes to the Sally House, uh, there's no question there's something there. There's no doubt about it. Matter of fact, uh, the Pickmans, uh, I, 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 know, I know them. 
I met them several times and I spoke to them about um, about their experiences and they were at, convinced you, you cannot speak you cannot change their mind convinced that that there was a, a bad place there was a bad place and we had a team uh, my team went there uh, gosh I think that was 18 years ago maybe 17 years ago we I, I have a picture which I'll, I'll send it to you uh, that we captured that I can't debunk I, I just can't debunk it and uh, but we had a, a individual who was there and he was scream bloody murder and a crucifix and the crucifix had actually embedded into his skin a third degree burn and he tried to pull it and he was pulling the skin i mean you, you could see it i mean it was literally a third degree burn, like someone had just implanted it into his chest so there's no question no question at all uh, that there is absolutely something there at the sally house that i could not imagine yeah. having that happen actually getting an object burned into your into your yeah. skin that's i mean you don't really hear of that activity happening at at very many locations in the u.s you know it's and that's a desecration of religious object we could literally talk for hours about yeah. all this and i want to when we uh when i come to visit you and now i got to add that to my priority list to come down but i guess just to end our interview now I wanted to have you kind of help the viewers of the channel out and help us out by, I don't know if you would call it blessing the video or praying over the video, the viewers that are going to be watching this. If you mm -hmm. could, if you could help me out with that um, before we end this, I don't know how you want to go about that. Yeah. And people ask me, is it, is it dangerous to, to learn about demonology? It's not dangerous to learn about demonology. The, the issue is the intent to use the information to fight evil and once you begin to do that then yes you, you or you're opening yourself up to uh, to receiving oppression and that is a part of this type of ministry and but that's okay uh, you know you as long as you have the power of the, the god behind you and you call upon the angels and saints above in heaven we have to stop putting demons here and god here and we're doing that well too far too much when you call upon god when you call upon the angels and saints above in heaven you need to understand that is when satan trembles in fear the prayer is in the name of the Father and the Son of the Holy Spirit. Amen. St. Michael, the archangel, defend us in battle. Be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him. We humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the power of God, thrust into hell Satan and all evil spirits who wander through the world, seeking the ruin of souls. And Heavenly Father, we ask that you hear our prayers. Protect all of us who are watching this video now or later, and make sure you always keep evil from us, blessing us in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. I'm actually wearing a St. Michael. Uh, oh, Saint, right Saint there. Michael, gotta love it. St. Michael, yeah, I, we call upon uh, the, the exorcisms when we perform exorcisms, whether it be the minor rite of exorcism or the solemn rite, there's a prayer called the Litany of the Saints. I, I encourage anybody to go uh, on YouTube. There's, there's several different versions. Uh, but uh, we chant the Litany of the Saints. Uh, it is powerful. And we also do the Litany of Saints uh, before an ordination. That's when we're invoking the saints above in heaven. So when an exorcist performs an exorcism, it's not just the exorcist. The exorcist is calling, invoking the saints, invoking Christ, invoking the angels above to help and, uh, and fight the evil. Wow, that is crazy. Definitely kind of spooky to hear him say that. <laughs> crazy to look back on the Sally House and think that it already happened and that we really were going in there facing off against something that's evil. It's just the personification of darkness and evil, whatever the hell is in that house. Okay, so this big giveaway, before we start the video, I wanna interject here. All you have to do, and this is very simple, you have to comment Sally Lives in the comment section below. Make sure you like the video, make sure you subscribe to the channel, I'll be able to tell if you do or if you don't, and interact with the video, share it, post a link to the video on your Facebook account, put an Instagram story up. The more, the more noise that you make about how much you love this video, the bigger chance you have of winning this giveaway. So I'm gonna give everybody 10 seconds right now for that chance to win this huge, really fun <laughs> ghost hunt with us. I'm gonna give you 10 seconds to comment, Sally lives in the comment section, like the video and subscribe. So go do it now, 10. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. All right, everybody. So this giveaway is gonna be going on for a week. 
you have to comment, like, and do all of that within the week. More comments equals more entries. We wanna boost the comments, boost the likes on this video, and it's completely free. You're gonna to have to pay for nothing, but we're gonna have one of y'all out. So we're gonna announce that winner next Wednesday on our Instagram account at The Paranormal Files. So go follow The Paranormal Files if you don't already on Instagram so that you can see who wins the competition. And yeah, I'm super excited to meet one of you guys, to, to fly somebody out and to, to show you what it's like because everyone watches from this side of the screen, but it's a totally different experience, let me tell you, to be on this side of the screen, having all of this crazy stuff happen to you. But yeah, let's, uh, good luck to everybody out there. I love you all so much. And let's get into the Sally House part two. When you drive out to the Sally House, it's very strange because you're driving through farmland, you're driving out seeing these rural churches. It's a very peaceful drive. It's very calm, beautiful Kansas country. And you get to Atchison, which is a very small town, but a small town that hides this incredibly dark secret, a secret that nobody seems to understand. Let's cut right now to the beginning of part two of our investigation at the Sally House. When we got there early, on that day in May, just a month or two ago. We're back. Oh, the Sally House. I thought we'd be back here. Never thought it would be this soon. You ready? Before we go in, I want to point out, Jeff, I feel like, what? Hmm? What? He's almost got a weird negativity that has been surrounding him since last night. Yeah. You want to explain your dream that you had yesterday? Uh, I just told you that I was, felt like I was in a vault. So when I was sleeping last night, it was actually more of a dream that I was within a like wooden beam, it's like a rectangle. And then I was not really under the earth, I guess, but something on the field like that, like a vault. I was inside and it was enclosed, I guess would be the term for it. Feel like and it could be related to this? Uh, I've had some anxiety uh, thinking of coming back here, obviously, yeah. For me, I will have explained this at this point in the documentary but the dreams the sleep paralysis all the different things that have happened my mental health all of that came after our first visit here but i do want to point out it seems like it is almost affecting you well i mean the idea that you just got done talking about all those things and it affected me last time on why we're going back that's kind of part of my logical reasoning why, why do we want to come back if it's affecting us the way it has that's what I'm trying to struggle with so we need answers I think or at least that's what I'm telling myself let's uh let's go in it's weird because Atchison is kind of a it's a very homey community. Lots of kids running around out here. And um, it's like a very pleasant small town. And yet you have the McIntyre Villa, which we filmed that last time. And then what's colloquially, colloquial, how would you say that? A house that's known as the most evil house in America. Very strange, I wonder what the neighbors. Obviously that woman believes because of the Virgin Marys. Remember the last time we were here, the radio was on? Mm -hmm. And she said she always, yeah, this is a correction that we learned after the last video that we shot. We learned that that radio is actually kept on 24 seven when people aren't in the house. So kind of weird to come in here and it's off this time. You know? Yeah. 
like the they told us that they keep that on and we thought it might have been paranormal that it was on but now it's off having deja vu in here. The guest book. Look at all these experiences. Spooky. What's crazy is um, immediately I have a headache on my right side up here. It's very, it's almost like a uh, immediate reaction. But we've got some new tools, some new devices that we're gonna use tonight. Sally? or whoever's here. I think you followed us around. You wanted us, you got us. So, oh, I get chills, just me. We're gonna come back tonight and we really wanna talk to you and figure out who the hell and what the hell you are. Well, I'm excited, let's bring our stuff in. Can <laughs> pause? <laughs> Okay, I just want to document this. Um, I just flew the drone, came in here to grab my camera. I was going to get a B-roll shot. I'm kind of, <laughs> you can hear me breathing kind of heavy because I'm my heart is racing. Um, nobody's been in the house. And I swear to God, I remembered shutting this door to the basement on camera when we were just in here giving a tour. And I came in here the door is now open. Wow, it's like having deja vu in here. And also when I came in here and I was looking at this, I looked over here and I noticed this stain that I never saw before that is kind of in the shape of a cross on the ceiling, but also could be interpreted as an upside down cross if you want to go with that kind of eerie. I don't remember seeing that before. But Sally, if that was you, can you shut this door again? Oh, something actually knocked right there. Sally, if that was you, can you please shut this? Weirdly enough, I also want to point out that right when we got here to the Sally house, you can see my blood sugar was in a normal range and we got here about 20, 30 minutes ago. That's right when it started to go low and I've talked many times, like there you go, just beeped. I've talked many times about how my blood sugar affects, how my blood sugar is affected by haunted places and it always drops low. And you can see that I have no insulin, I'm shaky because, of, because I'm low. But you can see right there, zero insulin on board, which means that I haven't entered any insulin recently, which means this low spike right there is just random. Okay, it's your last chance before we come back tonight. Sally, are you in the house with me? Okay, well, I'm gonna leave this door open. If you wanna come out tonight, and that's how you're showing me, come on out. And now I'm going to actually, oh, forgot I was gonna grab my camera. I'm gonna leave the house in a continuous shot so you can see that is where I left the door. So I'm gonna come out here. The phone's gonna die. I'm gonna 
How do you lock this? Oh, there it is. Okay. Creepy enough, the door is open in there. Didn't we shut that on camera? Which door? The basement door. Yeah. We shut. I th I thought so. It's open. Really? Can we go look? <laughs> no, I'll just later. Okay. It, I left it open to see if it'll shut again. Oh my God, that's creepy. Right? It begins. That room kind of creeps me out because that's where we had all the Estes. Activities. Yeah. That one right there. Okay. Well, we'll be back. I still think it's weird that the radio was off. I know. It's really strange. It's so dark in here. in here this time. It's, it feels really creepy. Yeah. Like soundproof or something. I know. You know? Oh, oh, oh like, do you hear that? Yeah. And I saw like a flash of light. Serious? There's not like cameras here, is there? Uh-uh. That's what it sounded like to me. Oh, okay. Oh my god. Okay, now this is the bathroom door and okay. this was more open than what it is. Look at this, Mary. Can I turn on the hand? Well, yeah, where the hell's the light? Right there. Look turn at this. The side. Oh, oh my, my god. god. That is insane. <laughs> That's creepy. Okay, now what can pot seriously, what can what could what could do this? This door was like out to here. Really? Mm -hmm. Yes. When I walked in earlier to mm -hmm. come, whatever I was doing in here, this door was open on camera too. I went out and um, shut the door, showed that it locked, and then we went and had dinner and I worked on the podcast. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you can hear me breathing kind of heavy because I'm my heart is racing. Um, nobody's been in the house and I swear to God I remembered shutting this door to the basement. Nobody has been in here. That's also why we started out without a light and all of that, you know? <laughs> Cause all we had is this. I wish we would have set up like a static camera or something. That's what I was hoping. I'm God damn it. I'm gonna put that trail cam on. Well, that's really weird that we didn't have. Why oh, that I heard something. Why don't we at least set the trail cam in, oh, in here? Yeah. Yeah. So. I didn't even realize also this shirt that I have tonight is kind of like the same <laughs> That's color as the walls. Ooh. It's like camouflage. <laughs> that though is very, I have to go look at the footage, but I'm 9,500% sure that this was closed. And this was definitely more open. Definitely. I mean, the owner, nobody's supposed to be here, right? Like, nobody no. would have come. No. This is all ours. Oh, city or whatever. So, that's crazy. Yeah. Tonight. Well, should we, are you going to close it? Yeah, I guess. That's creepy. Weird way to just start it off. Did you just hear a knock or a footstep? 
gonna say which is the whole reason of why I had you record this is that I keep getting a pressure headache on this side of my head um, both times today when I've come in to the building which is just weird like a very strong you can feel it in my sinuses you know but just on my right side which is weird but we're gonna get our equipment set up now and uh, and begin the Sally house we've already experienced a lot of Bizarre activity in here today. Jeff has been really, really off. Something is, I don't want to jump to conclusions, but something really does seem to be affecting him. Now, if you remember our last investigation, something in this house was threatening uh, members of my family, were threatening my wife. Um, Courtney experienced nightmares. I experienced tons of nightmares after filming here. All the things that I've already explained in this video, I think are somewhat rooted in what we touched in this house and what touched us back. So, needless to say, this is a frightening investigation and a frightening night that we're about to have here. I definitely didn't think that we'd be back here so soon, but once again, all you have to do is like this video right now and head down to the comments section and comment, Sally lives. Now, we're gonna be picking away, or picking, <laughs> we're gonna be picking a winner very soon, but for now, I guess let's just head inside, Mary. I'm just feeling nervous, and I was telling Colin before, I don't know, my heart's just been beating really heavy. So it's just kind of just one of those places where it just feels so uh, like just a heavy presence in this house. Yeah. But I'm ready. Something. Something. Something's wrong. In yeah, here. something's wrong. Something's rotten in Denmark. Yeah. It's in here. Okay, well, okay. let's go inside. Okay. <laughs> we got some neighborhood kids over there yelling at us, too. I know. It's they funny. were watching. I think they liked it. <laughs> we got Jeff in the control room over here. Yep. Yes. Yeah, just getting stuff set up and um, just, I'm telling you, like, uh, how you feel a little bit differently. And here, I feel like kind of like how you're sick to your stomach. You know, like, you're, like your stomach's a little bit queasy. Like my whole body feels like that. It's like a heavy feeling, just and it's so soundproof. Even though we're right on the streets, it's like so dead silent when you guys are gone. And uh, once again, I'm, I'm feeling stuff already, so. Well, I'm ready to go. Yeah, I'm just trying to get stuff. I'm exciting. Sally. We're here to talk. We need to figure some shit out. What's been happening? Okay, I've been yelling for you guys. Yeah, we can't hear line. anything. Okay. That's crazy. This whole thing fell over. This whole thing fell over, and then that thing fell over. Like By the itself? Oh my gosh. Yes. The and the, and the, the thing went inside the bathroom. What? <sighs> Did you? Oh my god, the fucking battery is broken. What do you mean? What do you mean? Oh no. It's broken? Yes, dude. What? 
What do you mean yes. broken? Look, it f***ing snapped off when it hit the ground. Where? So you won't be able to use a camera? Are you freaking kidding me? Oh my God. It literally broke our battery. <sighs> I just was in here, setting the floor up, and this thing started going forward. I hope the f***ing camera's okay. Okay, let me see the camera. Let me see the camera back. God damn it. That's okay, look. Here, hold, 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 don't let it drop again here. Did you film any of this on your iPad? No, because I, I was yelling. I was over here on the floor, and I noticed when I was setting this up, that started to tip forward, and I went over to grab this, and that thing fell forward that way, and it was sitting right there. And then that battery full, went into the, this little opening in the door. That is weird. You know what else so, is really weird? It's, it is like its own vortex in here, because that entire time in all that B-roll, you're not going to hear a single... It's actually weird because... You wouldn't we, even hear me? No. Hear well, we would, no. I we would have yelling. come back in. Did you film any of that? No. I, I'm not... I'm literally setting stuff up and just yelling from here. I'm like in here. Guys! 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 And then I dive here, and then as soon as I catch that, that thing fell over that way, and that... I just saw it all like bing, bing, bing. You know, it happened, so... I'm just like... That's an expensive... Uh, Okay, how piece of evidence. A battery broken. You can see, you know. Okay. And also, once again, let me show you guys. What happened? I left the Sally house for hours. Right when we got back here, my blood sugar dropped. Again, look at the 58. Uh. Right, once again. Right now? Yeah, when we got here about 45 minutes ago, you can see it start dropping at 9, and it is 9.50 right now. Weird. And then we can hear a bloody thing out there. Oh my god. Oh, wait, don't get, don't get. Ooh. Dude, this thing hasn't gone off all week, too. Okay. Oh my god. I'm actually... That is unsettling. That's actually really, really creepy. Sally! What the heck? That's going crazy. If that's you, what? step away. What? Oh, I feel like I'm about to be in my back. Oh. Sally, stop! This thing's powerful. Watch God. every single video we filmed this week. No. We've used two REM pods, new batteries. It was lucky if it went two or three times. Whatever's here is strong and it's already affected Jeff. It's it, it's targeting him, you know? It's targeting you. When we left, it knocked over both tripods, broke our equipment, already caused a camera malfunction, broke our microphone. It's crazy. It, broke the it is insane. The activity here is, what? I can't, I can't explain oh it. Jesus. Step away. Ooh. I just feel sick to my stomach already. It's just so weird. This is a bad place. Why are you Did standing there? Did you leave that door open? It's like in the doorway. Did like standing in the doorway. Yeah. Did we? No. Here. I thought we closed it. So did I. Look at, okay, come just to show people as well. Check that out. That's the oh. front door that Mary and I just came in from filming B-roll, definitely closed it. And then this REM pod that we've had set up for a while just started alarming or alerting. <laughs> and the, the door's wide open, the front door to the house. Doors, go, multiple here. doors today yeah, opening and shutting. Go around here just a little bit. Yeah. Oh. Okay, there's. Oh. Show yourself on this device. What's going on with this thing? It's like I'm throwing me off completely. Sorry, Sally. Huh, that is weird how that just started going off. Now I feel like...
we're going to try to go back and center ourselves on the table. Okay, well, what just happened? Uh, I'm setting up the static camera and there's a, a tap on the window. We keep missing shit by like mm -hmm. half a second. This tripod is what? That was weird. Was like, it sounded like a <gasps> guy's voice from inside here. Uh -huh. so that camera was rolling, oh. so that one got it. You know how like, creepy oh. in that? I a high pitched ringing in my ear. Sure. Okay, it's all rolling. Okay. What was that? Okay. What was that? Okay. What was that? What was that? Okay. What was that? Really? I never get that. Okay. Okay. Be really. Here we go. Yes. Okay. I am going to. Oh, oh, like, oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> This is. I'm going to. I got everybody an obsidian bracelet, and it's supposed to protect us from. Right when you said obsidian, this thing spiked. Oh, oh, right there again. Evil. Okay. And, and we're gonna put, we're all gonna wear these to protect us okay. at the Sally House. And then I also got sage for after the investigation. We're all gonna sage off. Okay. Yes. And I'm wearing my St. Christopher's medal. My, my ball behind you. Ball. 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 Oh, jeez. Oh, oh, both of them. Both of them. Both of them. Both. Right when both. I said my St. Christopher's medal. Yes, ball. Yes, right when you oh said God. the medal. Ooh. And the, you know, way over there. Wow. Way over wow. there. Wow. Both at the same exact time. That was crazy. Wow. I don't think they like all the protection we have. No. No. What the hell? That are you are you mad that we have protection? Should we start this? Sure. Oh! Oh! oh. <sighs> Can we move this away? So it does make you angry. Is that what you're saying? Wow, they got very quiet. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we're almost repeating exactly what we did the last time we were here. The only one that's missing is Courtney. She's at home working right now on the podcast. Just, we just moved, so. We're gonna start this thing out. Do you wanna turn that rump pod off? Or on? Oh, 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 right when I asked for a rump pod. Cat ball. Once again, right by the door. Come on, come on in. Come down the stairs. Isn't the other one on the stairs too? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, we're gonna turn this one on. Okay. Sally, or whoever you are, we were here before. You know us. Oh, God. oh Jesus. What? This oh. bug. <laughs> it's a fly. That's weird. It could just hit my finger. Oh, flies. flies. Sign of demons. Mm. Beelzebub, Lord of the Flies. Another name for Satan. Can I write ball up on the table? Oh, look, look. Ah, uh, that means yes. Fly. Flies just suddenly. Oh, oh, oh. Okay. These flies just suddenly started to come. Near oh. 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 That went off. Are you. Are you known as the Lord of the Flies? Satan? The devil? A demon? Is that what you really want to be? Do you like my St. Christopher medal I brought in? <sighs> there it goes again. again. The ball went over there again? Mm -hmm. I can't see. Can't Sally, see. whoever you are, whatever you are, you followed us around. You haven't been that nice. So we want to talk to you and figure this oh, out. Oh. Again? Mm -hmm. Nope. Oh, it's just going off. 
Are you coming over? Come over. Play with these lights right here. Oh, oh do you see that? The, 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 look, that came oh. too, right when you said play with the lights. Oh, there it is. Oh. oh. Okay, thank you. Let's just. I did. Oh! Oh! Oh my God! Yeah, come, come in. Keep coming. Oh! Whoa! Wow! Dude, that was really weird because the REM pod hit, but it didn't make a noise. Do you hear it make? I think beep? it made a little noise. Oh, I didn't hear it. Wall still. Oops. Oh! Oh! Okay. okay. Oh my yeah, keep, God! Keep coming. Yeah, Sally. Sally, it's time. Let's start oh, to... you hear it? Mm-hmm. Sally, can you make your presence known in here? If you forgot our names, I'm Colin. I'm Mary. And I'm Jeff. Sally, you've got to be probably the most evil, demented spirit that we've ever come across, or energy. So... Just want to let you know we're none of us are afraid of you. Can you make yourself known somehow? K K two. Is that in the stairwell? It's in the yep. stairwell. Keep coming. Come and join us at the table. Oh! oh, 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 oh red. Whoa! Oh, man, we gotta accept that that's what's happened. Yep. Oh! oh. Mm. My mouth got really dry. Should we start? Yeah, I got a toothache all of a sudden. Do you wanna ask some stuff? Or? Yeah, let's. Oh, 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 geez, look at oh, my god! Look at my god! Look at all of them. Did you get the ball? Oh, oh and the, the music! Look at the music! Look at it! Where? Where? Really? Yeah. Oh shit! There's a lot of charge here, man. Oh my god! Oh! Oh, oh my god! Dude, the look at this! Look at the light! Shh! Shh! It's like a, it's like a siren. Oh my god! That was Dude, crazy. Something just fucking uh. Like wood and like upstairs. Okay. Did you hear that? Yes. Come on, come, Mary, come over here. Okay. This never goes off. That is freaking crazy. I don't. What are you? Okay. What are you gonna do? There's something really loud up here. Yeah. It, that was. And loud the thing went. I mean, this went off, and then that was me. Oh. Did you just? Oh my God! I got electricity right mm -hmm. here. Uh, chills. Mm -hmm. Not over at the table, but. Look at my hair. But, I mean, the table was going crazy. But yeah, no, I know. Can you make that noise again if you just banged up there? This is full power. All over the red on this. You can't see. It's all the way. See it? All the way to red. It's like something's going to talk. That was, that was an insane amount of oh, bursts. Energy. Look at Play, dude. It wants to play with us. Uh, Isn't Sally? Sally! Play. You can't pretend around us. We know you're not a little girl. We know Sally never existed. This is a lot of charge right here. Yeah, it is. Can you tell us your name? What do you have to say? I asked who you were. A woman here. A woman here, mm -hmm. Sally. Sally. Okay. Stop lying to us. We know you're not a woman. We know you're not a child. We know you're not anything like what people think you are. We know you're much darker. Oh my God, Mary. Look at that one. Oopsie. Here, let's go sit back mm -hmm. down. That was insane. Those light levels right there. Okay. Lad. Lad. No, we know you're not a child, Sally. Hmm. Is this again where... It's trying to say something that it's not. Did you come down and join Good us? Night. Oh my 
my god. This okay, is you're insane. here. Collect what? What do you want us to collect? It feels different in here this time. I gotta say, last time was freaky, but this is uh, even kind of spookier. Okay, once again, I'm gonna just keep going here on this. What you're saying to collect? Oh my god. Okay, what? See, right when I ask. <laughs> cool. You like the looks of these lights? Mark. I'm gonna set that. Jeez, look at this. Why would it be doing this? I, I haven't seen a REM pod behave like this in such a long time. Sally, can you can you tell us uh, what you are? Roberts. Yeah, I heard it. What was it? Mm -hmm. Click, click. Robert, this is like always. This is up on full on red. It just stays there. Mm -hmm. it usually goes down. It's EMF meter. It just it's just locked in on red. Like it's okay. Jeffrey. <gasps> oh my god. Jeffrey. You hate it spelled it two R E Y <laughs> like it spells. Oh. oh dude, I am just oh I am so look at my look at oh my hairs. My god, dude. Oh my god, I got a headache. I'm kinda like dizzy. <laughs> Sally. Dude. Here, take this. That's so weird how he's been acting kind of weird too all day. Okay, have, right. Right. I have my protection on. I've got this. I've got St. Christopher on my heart. Sally? Oh. Put my phone down. God, it's going all the way red. Sally. Can you believe it said Jeffrey? No. Mm -hmm. I didn't even know that I could say that. I didn't know that was a Never movie. seen. Never had that once on any device. Sick. Sick. I'm feeling you just sick. sick. Mm. He just said that he felt Yeah, bad. you are making me feel sick. But I'm not gonna... Oh, oh my god! How oh, is it dude. so consistent? Oh, I am just like totally... If, oh, dude, look at, look at the REM pod and the K2. We're going off in like unison. Okay, I am protected. Just so you know, you cannot enter me. You can't have any part of me. Sally. Once again, what are you? Gosh, do you guys just feel like energy? Mm-hmm. Yeah. I'm like totally. Last time when we sat here, it was so quiet down here. Mm-hmm. Now this is like crazy. Totally different vibe totally. right here. So I want to see if I can shift the energy your way. So let Mary, let her do that. Maybe let me hold the camera. Get it. 1950s. 1950s. Would that be? What happened in the 1950s? We should go lights out at some point. Yeah. Was it the family that lived here? Oh, that scared me. I was like, oh there's a there's a ball. The ball went off right oh, here. On right the here. table. Oh, on the table right, right here in front of us. Mm -hmm. oh, oh. oh. Isn't it like European, like a you know? Like the police or the ambulance sound? Yeah. <laughs> Damage. Damage. Keep with it. What is? What What do you mean by damage, Sally? Are you saying you want to damage one of us? Is that what you're trying to say? Oh. Wow. Do you hard. want to hurt us? We have protection. What do you think of our protection medals, Sally? What do you think of the the rocks that we have or the minerals? Yeah. What? Ospidian? Stones? Obsidian? <laughs> uh, what is it? Obsidian. Obsidian. What did I say? Ospidian. <laughs> okay, obsidian. <laughs> Ospidian? I'm like actually just kind of actually shook up. Yeah. When it said my name, that mm -hmm. is creepy. I mean, Jeffrey? That's very... That's I've never very seen creepy. any I've of our devices, ever, any of our ever devices, in a, in an ever say my name. Well, I've never seen Colin or Mary either, no. Oh. Do you like Jeff? Here. Oh, oh gosh. 
Are you here with us? Remember, we invited them over here, so they're here. The empty chair right there. How about Sally? What do you, what do you want to do to us? Can you just explain if you had any opportunity? That was before I even hit yeah, the table. Yeah, it was. It was. If you had any opportunity in the world, or you had just us in a room, kind of like you have now, can you tell us what you would do? You're giving me a major headache, I know that. I trust you. We don't, we don't. We don't trust you, mm. Sally. Sorry. Did you follow us last time we were here? <gasps> oh. oh. It let, several what light lights it? went off, Why and then it? also that went off when you asked that, Mary. That's yeah, really screwed. Meet her. Oh, there, it's, it's going. Oh. I. Yeah. Did you follow us to the other investigations that we went to? And have you been in Colin's dreams? Recording. Yep. Yeah. Did you follow us? Well, we are recording. When we were recording. We're recording now. Yeah. Yes, we are recording. Why did you follow us? Well, there, of course, right when I go back, it goes off. Okay, Sally, did you create my dream last night where I was in a box? I felt like I was in a vault. Oh, 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 oh. Jesus. Mm. I tell you what, I'm almost like, what the hell? Dude. Oh, my. Holy moly. This is insane. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Sally. Wow. I mean, why me, though? Yeah, why do you like Jeff so much, Sally? Can you tell us? What's up with that? Your name. Your, Your name. name. Oh, he likes my name. He likes Jeff. Oh, oh. Oh. Gee, what is going on here? My legs are charged here. Are you saying What's you... That? Yeah, I heard that. That's a... a, a mm-hmm. It's kind of like movement. Flashing. Oh, 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 my God, look at this. Oh, my God, Oh, my God. Oh, Mary, let me see that. Flashing. Oh, oh it, was, it went down at the bottom now. Speak. Flash, speak. Flashing. You want to speak with us, Sally? Wow, that is a crazy thing. What do you mean? Maybe, I mean, what is the deal? It is Sally. It is Sally. Sally's here. Yeah. Sally, we invited her. Sally. Here. here. Sally, if you uh, if you want to speak with us, can you come take a seat at the table right now? <laughs> oh, 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 my God. God. Look at this. Oh, my God. Oh, my yes. God. Thank you, oh, Sally. Oh, oh. Oh, and oh, the oh, couple. Oh, God. Oh, my God. What is up with this? I have never seen such a... It's the same thing was happening to us last time with the nice. K2. Oh, Look at that, look dude! At that. Oh my god, thank hey, you, hey. Sally. Sally, is... what do you want? Yeah. Speak, if you want to speak with us, tell us what you want. Let's make some intelligence out of this. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, what is that? Is that a warning? Yeah, I'm gonna reset Is it that a warning me. symbol? Like... Concerned. Concerned oh. warning? Are you concerned for us? Okay, what are you concerned? Or should, no. Oh, okay. Should we be concerned? Yeah, right. Is that what you're saying? Right. Sally? I'm, just, what I'm, what? 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 Oh, I thought I saw a shadow over there. Did you see anything? Collapse. Well, your tripod's collapsed. Concerned collapse? Mary, mm -hmm. you were talking about yeah, high did, blood did you? pressure today and dying early. Yeah. Did you really? <laughs> yes. <laughs> You okay. were. I know. Okay, now wait a second. Let's think about this once again. Look at this thing. Is it actually trying to play on our fears again? Remember? It kind of is, because Mary, so. you, were, you were actually yeah. talking about right before we came here, we got dinner, and Mary was talking about at dinner. Uh, Emerge. Okay, you're here. Okay. She was talking about being afraid of dying 
I've been talking about my nightmares and other struggles that I've had. Jeff, um, I mean, you had your nightmare last night. I did. Oh, yeah. a fly and right there. Sick, mm-hmm. you know. Right when Sally came to the table. Remember I said I'm flies. sick the whole my stomach mm-hmm. and that's how my whole chest feels. Goodbye. Oh. oh. Uh-uh. Nope. No. You're not leaving us yet, staying. Sally. Stay here. Do not go back upstairs or wherever you're going. You you need to stay here. Please. Or should I say please? Or Why do you want to talk to me? I mean, oh, look at the thing. Right. I, know. I mean, you actually spelled my name correctly. J-E-F-F-R-E-Y. How about who's one of these that are with me? Either a name or who they are in relationship to me? The, the the dots are all the way down to green. Uh huh. When they said goodbye, it was that red the whole time. Yep. And also, the K2 has stopped spiking a lot. But the I REM pod, completely silent. You know what I still That's feel? That's really weird. The cat ball. It's, it got very Isn't quiet all of a sudden. Yeah. No, I won't. Oh. Say goodbye? Oh. Stay here. No. Or oh. either that or. Okay. It's almost like it's like. No, I won't. Yeah, I'm so we're saying to stay. Yeah. And no, I won't. Why will you not stay with us? Are you afraid of us? Because of our protection? I died. Oh. How did you die? Well, it went, it went at the green what? light flashed again. Look at the little ball. Oh. oh. That one hasn't gone oh. off in forever. Oh my god, my camera okay. battery's about to die. Okay, how did you die? Right when we left? Right when you left, it went off out there by the door, and this one went off. Oh. But that one out by the door, where, of See, course... That one hasn't away. even gone off. It's like it left and went up the stairs again. Mm-hmm. Sally, you can't hide from us. See, can this, this can you talk to me now? Sally, we know you're in here. Can you make a noise for us? Like, run around or bang on something? I want to hear you. I know you live off of fear. Oh my God, Mary, the flies on you. Oh, where? On your shoulder. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want it. This is just like. Impressive. What's impressive? This is such a different energy than the last two places we've been to. Yeah. Oh, it's geez. totally like chaos. Yeah, oh. this place and is... High energy. It, it, I can't think of a place that just feels more evil than this place. No. Especially after tonight already. No. This is like... This is the closest that I would ever describe to mm. feeling like... Son. A demon. Okay, hold on. I asked who else was here, either by name or who's related, how they're related to me. Son. And I was talking. That's you. Okay, yes, that's my son. And who else is here? If you're if you're intelligent. Sounds like you are. Carol. No. It's not Carol. Wrong. Tell us your real name. Sally. If that thing says Sally, I'm gonna <laughs> flip out. Come on, if you're intelligent. Crash. It's always Tess- such Tessa a... Tessa saw a motorcycle crash today, her daughter. Mm-hmm. A really bad motorcycle crash in Dallas. It's always such negative things it in this is. house. Crash, damage. So what do you mean by crash? I'm gonna turn the lights out, Sally, by the way. Now is the time to come out. (coughs) 
Okay. Oh, that seems literally dry. You know that water? Yeah. <clears throat> I had that before. It kind of sucks the wind. Oh, crap. Also notice how complete silence on the Get team. out. Oh. oh. Look at that. Get out. Oh. Oh. Oh, the, oh, right like when I was talking all. about it. And I've gotten, just again when you're saying, nothing going on, now I'm feeling all, again, all my hairs. That's, oh. oh, that's in the steps. Is there more of you here? More coming down? Oh, 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 oh I was oh, there, oh, I was there. Up there. Oh my God. That one has not even gone off yet. Oh, I didn't even know one was up there. I'm telling you, this place. Oh, God. Wow. Oh, I have chills now, too. Is that has not gone off. Look at that thing. Are you... Okay, you're here. Oh, I feel... It's fucking cold right here. Oh, it is cold. You hear... Do you feel that? We have to like get our right gauge. Here. I'm just... very happy. Oh. oh. How come? I think she's happy when we're afraid. I think oh, so, I think so. Too, you know? I'm happy right when we're freaking out. Mm -hmm. Can we turn the SLS off? Yeah, we have to, because I'm yeah. just really it's big. Oh, oh, there it goes again. Dude, I had somebody whisper in my ear. I'm not even... <sighs> Look at the girls that light again. Mm -hmm. I'm actually turning that camera off, and I just heard like a... <sighs> Was that you that whispered in my ear? Our settlement. Our settlement? Our house? Where they settle? Cave it. Cave it. Cave it. Sally, what are you is a question that I would love to know the answer to. Can you tell us what you are? Are you a human? Are you what some people would call a demon. Maybe. 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 Again, I'm just gonna bring up some things, just like, remember, she brought up our past, and we were at the USS Lexington. Oh. Which is the that naval was one of our last aircraft episodes. carrier. Yep. And she may have been following us. Mm-hmm. I mean, that's just what I get out of it, but I mean, who knows for sure? The Estes session that we did, in the House of Rock was very Sally-esque. Oh, wait that till you was, see that. You haven't even seen I'm it. I'm putting that out right before this episode. Have you been looking at it? Yeah. Did, did you see that? Very, very frightening. Oh my gosh. Did you follow us to the House of Rock, Sally? Busy. <laughs> busy? <laughs> what have you been busy with? You in the kitchen, Sally? Someone just tweeted me. <laughs> What's your opinion on God? Let's say you're a Christian. Oh, Where is it? Up behind you. What's your opinion on Jesus? Or God? Or heaven and hell? What do you think of, of Christians? They're more powerful than you. I know that. Ask. Ask? Yeah. Once again, I'm going to ask you then. Mm. What do you think about Christians? What's your opinion of Christians? Do you believe in God, Sally? Do you believe in the devil? It's, it's like it's sitting up there. Is that like a yes, though? I mean, you know, you can start thinking about those kind of things. Lungs. Lungs? Lungs. Okay. What do you mean, lungs? Yeah, we know you're here. We know you're here. I we go whole places, like, literally. I mean, we had a lot of those going off. But some, like, this is nothing. Right? At mm -hmm. uh, last night? Sister. Sister. Okay. 
So that is someone else related to me. Jamie Were you again? Remember Jamie. when they said oh she was my in God. the body last time? Oh my God, lungs. That is how, oh. Jeez. What, what happened? Explain it. Oh. Joey. Okay, now that's, that's what, ha it's happening again. My sister Janie died of cancer. And, oh. You okay, Jeff? How are you feeling? Okay. So my my sister Jenny died of cancer and Yes, I'm here. And her lungs filled up that. When she said, I'm like, well, I always regretted when she said, uh, when she said hi at the end, the last day of her life, she actually said goodbye. <laughs> but her lungs were so full of fluid. She couldn't, she couldn't even, I couldn't even hear her, her voice. See, I think this is what's happening. Is this place is truly evil. You're going to make me cry. He'll get you. Okay, I'm not going to let this happen oh because... God. He'll get you? Maybe Sally's a he. Okay, so... I've got my St. Christopher medal. I wore this with my sister Janie all growing up. You're not going to actually affect me like this. She's, I know where she's at. She's not with you. <sighs> Sally, stop. This is what. Oh. This is what. This thing does. Holy! Sh I gotta chill. I gotta chill. Isaac. Isaac. He'll get you, Isaac. Oh, I got. I have yeah. really bad chills all of a sudden. Like. Whoa. It's cold. Mm -hmm. Do you feel that? Uh -huh, like really actually cold. touching my skin. You okay? Can you see that? Oh, oh, the other one right behind you, Jeff. All of a sudden. Look at it all the way, all the way to red. Okay, man, this is what, this is what. Oh my God. This is what you like to do, isn't it? Look at that, it just goes back to green. And you're, you're pretending to be all these different people. Carol, Isaac, Sally. Who are you actually? She will touch you. She will touch you. Gosh, that's like, I'm actually a little bit of like freaked out by that. Okay, you need to leave my family alone. This is the same thing. It is. This is even worse yeah, this time. Know. This is like... It's gotten way... Williams. Williams? You have Williams in your family? Mm-hmm. My uncle was Williams. I mean, is it the whole Oh, there's look, 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 right, right. Right. Okay, that's on the right oh track. Oh my god. Now it's that fun. just never does that. No, look at that, dude. I mean, my god. Even around all of these devices that we use all the time, even this phone. That, look at that. It doesn't do a single bit of that. Mm -mm. Battle here. Battle here. Yes, you're right, we are. I think it's a battle between good and evil. Also, Dude, once again, this is the third time today. I've my blood sugar's gone low. Where are you? Seventy-seven. Dude. You can see it go up and then just keeps 
coming back down. Do you need something? Just maybe even just one. Are you trying to affect Jeff? Is that what you're trying to say? Oh! Please don't stop. Oh, jeez. Oh. I'm just like... Amelia. No. Um, isn't it Amelia Earhart Museum right here? In oh, yeah, look at it, look at it. Yeah. Amelia Earhart's from Atchison, yeah. isn't she? Yeah. Amelia That's kind of weird. Earhart. It's the, because that museum's right. It's like very close to this building. Uh -huh. So let's keep talking about it then. Yeah, Sally, what do you, what do you want? What would make you happy? Dude, it's so weird how yep. it sets one off at a time uh -huh. up there, mm -hmm. over there. Like that one over there was going off like crazy at the mm -hmm. beginning. I thought maybe it's a like faulty this thing one. Just keeps going mm -hmm. on. Nope. But it's not all of them at the same time. The one on the table, the one up there, now it's down here, then it's okay. over there. Can I tell you too? Like, look at this has gone back all the way up to yellow and it was only on two green. Now it's up to three green and three yellow. So forward. God, I just feel like uh shit in here. Mm-hmm. Give us some, give us another clue that you've been following us this whole time. A lot of people say Sally lives. Did you hear that? Wasn't that your stomach? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was wondering what why do you say <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes you gotta light the mood. Yes. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh yes. Do you not like it when we laugh in here, Sally? You don't attack. Oh. I feel like the energy's building right now. Okay. Here we go. We're gonna do. What was that? Okay. We're gonna do a voice recording. Okay, Sally. Amelia. Amelia. Oh. Yeah. yeah, no. Here. Whistle. It sounded like. Tell us who you are. Really, who are you? Toys. Give the, to the kids' room upstairs. Give it to you. To Is ask. that where you want us to go? Up to the kids' room, like we did the last time we were here. <gasps> the, the f did you not see that? What was that? The paralyte. That oh. was the lamp. Weird. I, f I don't think I've ever seen that thing spike. Mm -hmm. Well, it was during earlier. I know, but like just randomly, I don't think I've ever seen that. Ask a question. Where did you come from? What brought you to this house? Carl. Carl. <laughs> That's my childhood best friend's name, Carl. He was one of the groomsmen at my wedding. And spelled like That's that. exactly how he spells it. The only Carl I've ever met with a K. At least that I can tell. Do you know Carl? Oh. So what are you trying to show us? Is that it? He screams. He screams? No, you can't go after Carl. What's really weird actually is that at the wedding, Carl was telling me a bunch that he wants to come film with me really mm -hmm. yep because he's i've been such good friends with him for so long literally known him since i was like what three mm -hmm. smell smell remember when carl said that whenever he walked into our house our house smelled like chicken oh yeah <laughs> <laughs> and every time i think of that i'm like oh our house smelled like chicken and he said well it was a good smell like, oh, oh. Carl wants to go film with you. Yeah. 
we were talking a bunch about it, how he wants to come. So that's weird if Sally was around. Mm -hmm. Once again, Sally, where did you come from and why are you here? Are you going to try to follow us again? Tear. It's tear or tear. Hmm. Well, I was. Hmm. I'm going to let you guys do this for a second, and I'm going to go sit outside. For some reason, I feel like really pissed oh, off. Oh. So I'm just gonna take like a five-minute breather. I can't really? sit here anymore. Okay. Colin, are you okay? Go away. Go Colin. On. Doorway. It's a doorway. Right when you went through the doorway. What? Doorway. It's a doorway. Okay. Oh my God, look at that thing. What are you trying to do to Colin? Look at this thing, Mary. Mm-hmm. Okay, we know you're here. We're not going okay. to let you hurt I'm him. sorry. Are you sorry that you made him leave? Why did you want to make Colin leave. I wonder if we should go check on Colin. Yeah, probably. Here, let me just go look what he did. The children play games. Are you playing a, ga a game I gotta go with see Colin? Him. I'm obviously very skeptical when it comes to a lot of stuff, but when I was sitting there um, and we were doing that um, spirit talker at the table, um, I kind of just felt like really angry, very um, just pissed off. And all my anger was projected at Jeff for some reason. And I was actually considering punching him in the face. Um, oh yeah, <laughs> that's very, um, that's why I was like, I just need to leave for a second. Okay, so let's think and about that. And that's not f***ing around. I'm not, I actually was like thinking about doing it, which is why I was like, I need to step out for a second. Because if I would have stayed in there, I probably would have punched you. And then the weird thing is how... We were talking about when you get angry, I said, have you ever punched anybody? And you're like, no, I, that's not me. I'm the calm person. I always try to calm people down. I would never be. So it's like It's really totally hard to opposite. agitate me. Okay, but just also remember, brought up my name, Jeffrey, and attacked me. Remember? She's gonna yeah. attack you, like through you, affecting you. Like. Did it say doorway as well it's when I was doorway, right, when you left. right when you right were going when you That's the weird. It's like it was on me, because I'm yeah. feeling yeah. better a yeah. little bit now. I don't know, when I was sitting here too, it was kind of freaky. Um, an actual fly came and landed on my oh. leg. Like a big, like, uh, not a horse fly, but like a classic, like this, this actually right here. Oh, God. Like this type of fly. Came and landed on my knee and I was like, of course. Oh, wow. Of course. Well, I feel a little bit better now. Well, I think well. it's a good thing that you came outside. So if that happens to you again, make sure you take a break. Yeah. Because uh, that's really, especially you. Yeah. But I mean, yeah. especially you're not doing that and actually saying she was going to attack me. Yeah. So. Very, very, very weird. I was thinking of getting scratched or something like that. 
but yeah. actually it was going to be in the form of maybe you punching It was going to be in the form of like making me very angry. I, it's really weird actually thinking about it right now because I can barely remember the last 15 minutes of being in there. Mm. We, we just never, we never have these kind of episodes either. No. I mean, no, nowhere. Right? I mean, we, we there's just like nothing. And it doesn't make sense. This is a normal street. And it's such a normal house. It's a tiny house. What the hell happened so here that unassuming. made this Yeah. This thing here? It's it definitely makes no sense. Just full of like you said insults, violence, trying to bring up bad memories. It's it's really a repeat. It's it's, it's, pretty, it's way worse this time. Yeah, it's way worse. It is Like last time was freaky. But think about it, it's been half the time just now, and I've already had to leave because I was going to like, punch you, get mad at you. You already broke down crying. Have you felt anything weird? I have just, you know, all of our other locations during this whole trip have just been, I mean nothing, just positive. But this is just like, I don't know, my heart is just beating really hard in there which is really strange and just feels just so negative and so charged. Just so much electricity or energy in that. But it's definitely negative. Yeah. Okay, I'm not saying this towards you. I'm just yeah. saying I can still feel that when I was looking at you. I don't even, oh. right, the light just went out. What was that? That was the light on the house. Do you see what? that? Yes. The green light just went out. Yeah. Right when okay. I was, okay. I was. I'm, <laughs> I'm feeling like again. I'm out here. I, I still feel like you're yeah. on me there. I'm. I got in my mind. I want to strangle you. Are you serious? Yeah. Oh Call it, no, dude. Oh my god. I'm not trying to. What do you, What do you want to do here? Oh and I'm not gonna I strangle know. you. I know you're not. I'll never oh, strangle Lord. you. Weird. I actually am. It's like making me think like violence. I don't know if this is like yeah. the best place I don't, to go yeah. into. It may not be. I don't like we that. have to. You know what? Really have to have cleansed again. Yeah. We have to really. Oh, get let's get the, the the shit that I yeah, that we I bought today. That. Yeah, you, you should bring that. that in. Why don't you put? Do you have your metal on? You should put a metal on, bud. Oh, well, oh well, let's bring it in. Okay, let's let's get where, it. How do we get it? It's in the car. You have the car no, keys. I don't have the keys. Jeff, you go in and get it. Take your camera with. Going uh, I really don't feel like going in here alone. Uh. Where are the keys? Potential. Don't talk to me. I'm just here to get keys. Where are my keys? Us. Oh, Jesus. What are you doing? I'm not gonna stay here. We're coming back. You're being mean? Making Colin feel that way? Is that you? Yes, it is. I understand. I can see it. But we do have protection. I have... Obsidian, that's been blessed. I've got my St. Christopher medal on. You can't harm me. Challenge. Hmm, it's a challenge, okay. A challenge in what way? Just to so, show that you can follow us. Take that as a yes. Yeah, I understand. If, you think, if you're so powerful, make all those lights go off then. Look at that. Oh my god, Mary's shadow just scared the shit out of me. Okay. Whoa! Yeah, yeah. Oh my god. Look at this. Holy shit! This thing just never goes off. Look at like this! That. This has oh been, my god, this dude! This has been spitting. Oh, I have chills again. This has been spitting out words. Like, oh, look at the the, the paralyte once again. Yeah. The lamp. Oh that never goes on. Sally, who can, can, are you? Can, can, Grace. Oh, Grace. Grace. Oh my gosh. 
Sally, you are not Grace. You're the opposite of that. You are well, well, evil. Is, well, of course, Grace is my... Oh! oh. Look at that! Yeah, yeah. Dude, what the hell? That, Multiple that, that, devices? Grace is my... is our oh. is our niece. Oh, my... That's weird. Grace oh, is our niece. Oh, dude, I have chills right now. Okay. Sit, you think, a little more? Cursed. Cursed is what oh. Sally is. That's, that's right, That's Sally. what you are. Oh, oh see? Oh. And it, it does that. It, okay, that's its yep. And then it will go off. Look at that. Oh, oh I feel what it. What in the heck? Just sick in here. I'm I mean... Neither. I'm gonna turn this off. Okay, let's go. Yeah, oh, oh yeah. Need Colin. It, Colin. I'm just getting mad. Colin, this is the place to put so it right much. here, bud. It's ready. It's ready to be challenged. Oh, a challenge. It said challenge. Were you guys here? No. I don't think so. Up for a challenge. That, this is the challenge, Colin, to go get that. Stay here. <gasps> oh. No, we will. We are going to stay here. We're coming back. As yeah. we're leaving? We're going to go. crazy go. intelligent. We're going to come back to challenge you. Okay, do you want me to come with you? Yeah, sure. God. Okay, this is like just chock full of. Okay, I'm just gonna preface this by saying I am not personally religious. I'm not gonna downplay anybody's beliefs. Anybody can believe in anything they want. I don't care what you believe in. I'm just not personally, you know, everyone has their own mind and opinion about things. But I'm willing to have an open mind and, and try. So we went to a Catholic shop today, as Sally is a lot of times referred to as a traditional demon. And just a light above your head. Oh, sorry. And we bought some items that might trigger Sally. And if she wants a challenge or he, whatever it is, maybe it's androgynous, you know, it could be both genders kind of like Baphomet if you believe in all of that. Here, can I hold on one second? Grab my phone. Here, let me just show you this. Um, I got it. I know we're going to go in now. And let me just... Last night... Did you hear that? Yeah. What was that? That was a f***ing voice from in here. Oh my god. Oh, it came from in here because this is just a... Did, do you not hear that? I heard something. That came from like right on the other side of this door. Turn my freaking thing. It was a male voice. That was a clearly male voice, like right here in the stairwell. Oh my gosh. Then we gotta go in, man. Yeah, let's go. Doing? Yeah, I, I. Okay, Sally. Whatever you are. Hey. What? What? Holy! Holy! Oh, holy! Mary oh my God. Look at holy! Holy, it just said holy. <laughs> what the hell, oh. literally. And that's what you're bringing in. That's what's in this bag. Is that, are you afraid of this, Sally? Wow, that is crazy that that just said holy. I'm you, this thing is just so, this is an intelligent. It's, the other things it said, I was a child, emergency, whisper, and holy. Dude, the oh. whisper, I had yep. it over here in my whisper. Ear, I told you guys. Behind the SLS. Obviously, Sally put heart. heart. Holy heart. The heart of hearts. Oh, no, I it? said it, this is over my heart. Oh, Earlier I said oh, my Christopher St. Christopher Metal is over my heart. Okay, this is all. Let's get going. See what they have to say. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Oh. Right when you're touching it. Okay. Sally, what do you think of this stuff? What's your name? Oh. You know our name. What do you think of this? Oh! Uh, yes. Oh my gosh, I'm feeling. Oh! oh. What? I, I just saw a light. Another oh. light. Sally, who is that? Brother. This is the known as the King of Kings. 
more powerful than you. Wouldn't you agree? Okay, Sally, you know what this is? Look, it's almost like we've shut That was trippy, man. It's almost like we've shut things down, guys. You know what I'm saying? Nervous. <laughs> oh, this makes okay. you nervous, Sally? Mm -hmm. Sally, Sally, Sally. What are you nervous about? I'm gonna set it on the table right here. You can't leave, you're, you're here in the circle here. Badly. Nervous, badly, badly nervous. Sally, we also got the rosary. I got a book about hell. Maybe you can tell us oh, what oh, hell is okay. like. Oh, oh. The stairs, stairs, mm -hmm. it was fleeing. It is it fleeing? fleeing? Oh. It's going away. Look at, look at, look at this. Look at how just calm everything is. That's actually really freaky. It's Remember really when you brought this stuff out? Right when we did that. And it says it's nervous. Mm -hmm. Badly. Sally, I also have this St. Michael. I visit. I visit. Do you visit hell? Okay. I just asked you if you could tell us what hell's like. Why don't you come back? Come back and join us again and face, you said you wanted a challenge? Here it is. Sally, I got this medal of St. Michael. The Demon Slayer. The Archangel. What do you think about that? Watch it. Watch yeah. it. Watch it. Watch it, buddy. Okay. But you're not showing yourself. He is more powerful than you. That's why, right? Desperate. Desperate. Desperate for what, Sally? <laughs> okay, it's never been this silent the whole night. I think we should go upstairs. Okay, okay. I think, man, though, look at this. Regardless of your religious belief, it does seem that bringing these trigger objects has frightened whatever is in here. And I wouldn't even necessarily hesitant to call it a trigger object, but it's what we're using it as, but it is a crucifix. We're being respectful here. Okay, should we leave that here? Otherwise, mm, I think we should. leave, mm. it might flee. Yeah. True. And Sally came back. Holy shit, dude. Wow. Oh my, oh my god. gosh. Well, we had a moment of calm thinking that the cross shut Sally down. Look at that, I think dude. It's up for a challenge. This is right when we were about to leave to go upstairs, too. What was that? I don't know. Uh, we got our light. We got our camera going here. It sounded like a footstep upstairs. This camera's gonna have a bunch of pictures. That's fine. Okay. Oh, 7.3. What? Oh, it was just on 7.3. Not the not down oh. below, but it was 7.3. So we're gonna head upstairs now in the Sally house to do an Estes session. The first time we came here, our Estes was one of the most compelling things that we've ever recorded. Crazy stuff. You want to explain what you got right there? Yeah. This is just our, we started to use a trail cam. <clears throat> so it's on a three burst photo setting. Something moves or triggers it, we'll get three photos. And I'm going to take the, the flare upstairs right next to you there too. So I'm going to turn this on. So we got lots of gadgets and gizmos. Sally. Got the millimeter. You better come talk to us. Oh, I'm shit. Sorry. sorry. No, I'm, I'm sorry. It's okay. We also have a static camera here on the stairs and a REM pod to see if something... Oh! Hmm. Oops. Oh, oh, Jeff, what? Jesus. Are you okay? It's like something's tripping me. What the fuck? 
What happened? I just, I, I don't know, I lost my balance. Oof, that. Paranormal Files jingle. Do it. Paranormal Files, the spookiest videos on YouTube. <laughs> oh, she's been recording the whole time. Oh. Oh. Likes it. That's weird. That, that just went off. Uh huh. So, we're now upstairs in the Sally house. We're back in the room where we did the Estes session. Interestingly enough, it said toys earlier. Um, so we're in the room with all the toys. Whoa, again. Do you need some? Yeah. I can go get them. I can go do it. Yo, the static, the static just got that. Dude, that was, I think that was this radio. Oh my god. I swear to you, I think that was this radio right here. Sally, was that you? Oh, I've got, I'm like charged up here. You guys gotta come back. Yo, that was so mm. bizarre. I was literally, we weren't even filming. I was coming to get glucose tabs because my blood sugar was low. And as soon as I stepped foot down here, like the moment I actually came down, the radio, I'm pretty sure it was this radio right here, twice went. <laughs> That static camera got that for sure. Scared the hell out of me because I wasn't yeah. even, I was just coming for my blood sugar. I'll go with you. Sally, what the hell? Do that again. By the way, I keep having to eat glucose tabs the fourth time today in this house that I've gone low. Fourth time, and I never go low, ever. I usually run a little bit on the higher side. For everyone online who's wondering, I'm type one diabetic. And uh, 
You can do anything if you're diabetic, by the way. Don't let that ever hold you back in life. All I was gonna say is, we've been here twice now. Both times this place finds new ways to terrify you, 100%. That radio thing, I don't, that's never happened. I've been talking about the radio all day. Jeff, and, oh man, weird. Wanna zero that out? Sally, is that you? Oh. Look at that. This is where you're hiding. You're afraid. You're afraid of what's down there, the crucifix. Can you get back down the ground? Get back down the ground. It was actually right on, on the mm -hmm. stairs by the window. Mm -hmm. Where'd you go? We had a figure up there on the wall and then it zipped by. Look at that. And I think it came in this room. Hey, look at Sally came upstairs, remember? It was right on that staircase. You know, I feel personally once again attacked in here. This has not happened. I don't think ever. Oh my gosh. 48 is my blood sugar. Look at that. Huh. No, I'm fine. I'm fine. But look at look at this graph. I haven't entered any insulin tonight. Can you see how I keep going up mm -hmm. and then dropping? Like like I said last time when we were here, the one thing Sally can do or this entity was to affect me was to mess with the camera gear. That's what it did last time. I didn't even think of the blood sugar as another way to mess with me. And look at, once again, just to show people that, I mean, I don't know why you would possibly think that I'm making this shit up in the first place, but if you see at the bottom right here, active insulin, zero, you can see me shaking. Mm -hmm. <gasps> Did you hear that? Zero units, but that's, it that shows that I didn't put any insulin in. We've barely been walking, you know, it's not like we've been, the USS Lexington, look for example, my blood sugar was not low that whole night and we were going up and down hundreds and hundreds of stairs. So sorry. Thousands of stairs. I've got a big Steps. figure on the, right there at the railing by you. There it is. It's up here. Colin, Sally's it's, up it's here. It's on the railing. Sally's up here. Oh, it's gone again. You reckon? Okay. Um, Colin, it's true though, because I don't, yeah, on this whole trip, since the 24th of April, I've been down here with Colin on our trips up from Corpus Christi all the way up here. You've rarely had blood sugar at, at all, all, ever like this. At all. And you I were even saying, saying earlier I today, don't, don't low think... blood sugar must must really affect you because you don't go low very often. Yeah. Often. To this place. What was it? I am once again starting to get that pissed off. Substances. Substances off feeling. Mm. Sally, where are you? And why do you enjoy making people so mad? What's up with that? I'm not going to let you use my blood sugar to attack me. As my pump alarm goes off. <laughs> just opened 13. Yeah. Weirdly yeah. enough, it just hit midnight Guys, 20 minutes ago and it's Friday the 13th right now. Oh my gosh, it's Friday the 13th. It's Friday the 13th and I didn't even think about oh, it right now. That's crazy. Midnight on Friday the 13th. Oh. oh. It's weird. I feel like I keep seeing stuff. Sally, why do you like to why do you like to be just so mean to people? What's up? Why? Can you give me a damn answer? It's 
It's kind of night vision. Sally, once again. Watch out for the stairs, Connor. Where are you up here, Sally? Let's do this damn Estes method. Mm -hmm. I'm ready. Okay, so for people who don't know what the Estes method is. Oh, there it goes again. By your hand. Well, I think you oh, touched this. I touched this one. With the Estes method, you Jesus, that's so like blinding. You put on a blindfold, and you put headphones, noise canceling headphones, over your ears, and then the people that can't hear the spirit box ask questions, and I'm just gonna read out any words, any phrases that I hear. And the last time we were here, Sally, or whatever the entity is, attacked almost everybody in here. Oh, there it is again. So, I'm excited to do another Estes here. It's got a headache up here. Kind of one of those same feelings like, you know, like... Oh, right, right in front of you. Yeah. But like... It's coming in. But yeah, but like it's got to be like nasty or something. Like it's ready. I think that's pretty crazy. Oh, my ears are ringing. Uh huh. Wow. I feel like I have like oh, strep. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Whoa. Uh, oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. There too. And this light's going off. Okay, we're, we're, we're. Oh, God. Sally, are you back with us? Huh. Okay. Are you up here because of the crosses downstairs? You don't like them? You must be here. Okay, guys. You're you know here. the drill. You're here. Yes, actually. Call this one. Call this one. Okay, oh, you guys ready? There's a ball up here. Huh. Looking. Ow. I have a pain in my heel. You kind of look like Frankenstein. Ow! They're coming for you. I just heard. Okay. They're coming for you. Are you? Um, I gotta take my. You gotta tell us when you're gonna start. Yeah. Many of them. Come in there. Or come in there. Like coming there. Who's, who's coming? Seth. Seth? Who? Who is coming? Seventh. I'm golden. Who's here with us? You're the main course. Who? Me? Daddy. Oh my god. Slashed him. Oh, that's what I've been saying. Okay. Your god. What's your name? I'm coming up right now. You're coming up the stairs? Yep. What do you want the to academy. do? What do you want to do to us? <laughs> What's so funny? What do you think of Jesus? I see you. Yeah, but what do you think of Jesus? Nothing. You gotta think something. Hatred. Hatred of Jesus. Why do you have so much hatred? Accident. What happened? Multiple pieces. Um, oh. oh. What was that? Oh.
Mm. Oh. I'm like told. They hurt me. That, you know what that was? That was like the walkie talkie. Yeah. Holy crap. Who hurt you? Check this out. Three. Okay, did you? Did you make that walkie talkie go off down there? Downstairs. That's not me. Who is it then? I think you're a liar. The creator. What's the name of the creator? Once again, what? In the house. Yeah. Once again, what do you think of, of Jesus? It's Friday the 13th. Yeah. But remember, we have a crucifix downstairs. You seem to run. What do you think of Jesus? Very good. Do you like Get out! Back away. Your dad's got me covered. Why do you stay in this house? Blood turning? Blood yearning, maybe? You yearn for people's blood? I got my own stuff. George. Yeah. <laughs> Are you going to follow us home? St. Joe's. Hmm. We were just there. I was there. You can't. Farther. You can't follow us home. Why? Because we're stronger than you. And we won't let you. I'm hearing no. Oh, yes, we are strong. Oh, no. No. I'm not going <laughs> to let you. I'm not going to uh, let you. There's somebody waiting. Oh, at the hotel. Huh. That was a full fucking sentence. There's somebody waiting at the hotel. Who is it going to be? Coffin? Confident? Why? It's a specter. What happened to you to make you so angry? I'm, I'm, because I have my eyes closed, I'm seeing like a <sighs> face coming into my vision, like, ah. <sighs> oh, what the? Oh my God. Ugh, I'm going to lock up. Mary. What the hell? I'm there. Oh my God. Oh my God. Can you hear? Uh, yeah, we can um, hear you. Are you downstairs? Oh, what oh. is that, Mary? It's, it's static. What the, for what the, like the... Uh, can I come up there? Oh, my oh God. God. I'm there. Can you hear? Can I come up there? No. Okay, well. Uh -huh. Yes. You're stuck with me. Okay, you can't. <laughs> yeah, go ahead and come up. Come up, but we're not scared of you. Oh, oh, you're, very you're, deep voice. Can you hear? I'm coming. Oh, <laughs> well, come up oh, here. That's scary. Make, I feel chill, make the, actually, right now. Make the I'm like energy chill. And I'm getting like dizzy. Okay, I don't know if that was that the. You radio? can't escape. Is that the radio static? I don't get it. Oh, okay. I'm having him. No, you're, you're not, not having him. No. No, because we're gonna I protect him. I feel like him. that's about me. Scoreboard. I heard. Scoreboard. Oh my god, that's oh. my dad. My dad owned the scoreboard. I was gonna get that tattooed on my. Frickin He's arm. a drunk. <sighs> okay. No. You're just being. Weird. Yes. My stepdad. Was Life's not fair. Okay, once again, we're going down this path. Again. Okay. 
Okay, you know what? You're just trying to bully. Mom's lost. No. You're trying to bully. Great Jeff. parenting. <laughs> oh, wow. Well, your mom was. Can you come down? I'm waiting. I'm getting so many voices, man. I'm free. Scoreboard again. Or scorecard. Okay, scoreboard is my dad's bar. That I'm just in the process of researching right Ooh, now. Oh, man, I'm like very creeped out. Annual. What do you want with us? To fight again. Okay. Is the final battle going to be downstairs? I, I like watching. What do you want to watch? Bed. Oh, sleep. Bed and sleep. Oh, not with us, you're not. You're not welcome at all. Oh! A kid's voice. Stop! Like that. Oh, that gave me oh. chills. Hey, you know, you're not allowed to mess. I am. No, you're not. Oh you're not allowed to love mess you? with oh any of us. No. You don't love us. Mm. Wow, this is like a December. Mom. December's his birthday. Oh, my birthday. legs are falling asleep. I don't know if I'm hitting it. Oops. The priest can't help. Gosh. It's funny, <laughs> it's funny just priest and being a Catholic today. It's pushing you. Can you feel me? What did you think of that crucifix? Listen to my story. What is your story? There is none. Well, there, there is one. You're trapped here, but... Um... Hmm? You don't think you're trapped? Do you... Ha! <laughs> Definitely not. Do you travel oh, extra creepy. with people? Oh, my back f hurts sitting here. Nose. HBP. Trigger warning. Who do you want to hurt if you want to hurt somebody? Oh, that was f***ing creepy. Bentley. Oh like my that. god. Like a That's our dog. male That's voice, our dog. though. A male voice. That's Bentley. Bentley. Oh. What, how would that? I'm there with with oh, them. No. With him. Oh, I haven't seen him. It's craziness. Bentley for three weeks. God. That's unreal. God hates you. <laughs> no, God does not no. hate us. Yeah. No. 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 Trustme.com. No. Oh. Mm -mm. Yeah, I don't think so. You're just a liar. Go! <laughs> We're protected. Space, space, space. We are protected. Time! I think you're... Oh, man, I'm getting so many. Um, Away from the light! Okay, no. Bentley again. Oh, but I was just going to say... A man, a man as well. We won't hurt. You're not going to hurt Bentley. You're not going to hurt no anybody chance. in our family. Our pets. No, I can't. His it. sister, now more than ever. Oh my gosh, you are not. My sister Penny or Wanda, you're not. Won't lay one hand on them, unless she's They're going never back to Jamie safe, again. Or he's never safe. Ooh, once again, I'm getting a and a giant eyeball that I can see. Oh, oh my God, right there, like a corpse moaning. Can you speak up a little bit? I'm actually sick again. God, See a doctor! Oh my god. <laughs> was like a COVID commercial. That? Oh, that's weird. I, eyeball. Yeah, that's Christian! Weird. Okay. I think Jesus. Loser! Jesus. I was, oh. I was just saying Jesus. He said loser. Jesus. Lexi! Oh my gosh. That was our old dog. That was our old dog. What's the deal with dogs? Burning. Burn! Oh, right after oh, your arms. Oh. Colin. 
Six, oh, like six, six almost. Oh, I'm gonna suck to my stomach again. I'll tell you again. What? In the name! <laughs> okay, I think. Losers! You're just. You can't get out, or like you can't get out speak. and fast? Oh. You can't get like, I just said they can't let us speak, you can't get out fast. Yeah. It said. Satan! Oh my god. Jesus. Oh my god, sorry, I just sounded so loud in my ears. This is off again. What? You're just. What? You're so, You're so loud. loud. Sorry, it's just that oh it's Satan like and it freaked long. me out. You're so loud. Sorry. It's gonna be okay. really hard to... Okay. You gotta tone wow. it down. Jeez. Jesus. Oh, yes. Jesus is way more powerful Nailed. than you. Yes, yeah. he was. I can guess when. Well, we all can. It's yeah. not like you're special or you're smart. God, this thing's off. Oh, my. Last night, I watched. Okay, you must just be right here. This thing just is constant. Mm -hmm. Just in the room with us. It's in the room with us. I want the man. Look at this thing. Mm -hmm. It doesn't go off. Leave. Oh, oh. girl, a young girl's voice. Leave. There. Do you want us to leave? I'd say that's a yes again with this ball. No! Oh! Oh my god, oh my so god. Loud. That was so clear. That was not a radio at all. It went over like seven frequencies and it had an echo or a reverb. I wish we would have fucking recorded that. It was like, oh, and I'm cold right now. It literally went, no. And it was over like eight channels just now. And that's when oh, I'm waiting that, for you. That's when and you the that's, same girl's voice. That's when you oh my god, do you see? I, I can't even see, but my hair. <sighs> Why don't you want us to leave? <sighs> yeah. Whoa. What do you want us to do? Eight. Come with Julie. Okay. What do you want us to do? Oh my god, that was the clearest voice I've me. ever heard in my life. I'm an Estes. No. Okay, so don't want us to leave. We, we are going to have to leave. But do you want to have a challenge one more time downstairs before we Got leave? Got money? <sighs> yes. It's it cool, like, bro. Oh it's almost like mocking. You know? You're a bitch. Oh, God. Oh, God. Here we go. Give me a break. <laughs> you are the loser. You're not scaring <laughs> us. It's just Would words. you say you're a loser? Oh, my God. Another little girl. Come. But not as, not as long as the... the other one was so fucking crazy. What's your name if you're the little girl? Cross the line. Are you stuck in the Open space? arms. Doesn't give you any time to ask. What's your name, little girl? The month of love. Oh, sex. With. Okay, where do you spend more most of we your time? We are family. <laughs> Just heard that song. Oh my god, that's my sister. Creepy though. That's my sister Janie again. Her song. Huh? Huh? The why, dead why, laugh now. Why would you sing that song? We are family. Why would you it's sing? It's been that? years. Yeah, it has been. But why? Why? Why choose that song? Of all songs. Okay, so... Your daughter. Oh, my God. My daughter is Tessa. What do you want to do with Tessa? Hmm. A whore. I heard a voice. That's no, she's not. Warning. That is pretty nasty for you to say that. Tessa just told us to be safe. A couple minutes ago, she texted me. Come on. Do you like to just insult people? You're reaching. No, I'm not. I mean, this is all you do. God. Yeah. Yeah. No. Go ahead downstairs for details. 
Yeah, that's where we've got it. Torture. Yes. Around Give me the girl. You think you're torturing us and scaring us, but you're really not. You clearly don't know. Uh, check the bed. Tonight. Oh. Oh, under the table. Dad. I named you the house knows. I see a horse in my vision for some reason. A horse, if that has any relevance. How old are they? The infants are dying. I don't know. Dying. Okay, you Get out now. You both. You both filthy. Ghost. <laughs> How many ghosts are here? That leave so quickly. In an English accent. British accent. One. One ghost? Him or her. So who is the one ghost? Is it you? Both. Him and her. What's that? I'm the bored. Oh, the light. Look at, look at mm -hmm. the light bulb. Let me touch. Why can't we touch you? No. You can't do that. I'm protected. Come down, baby. I think we're going to have to go upstairs again. Mm -hmm. One last thing. I'm at the bottom. The bottom Strawberries. of Strawberries. Hmm. Bye bye. Bible. I'll rip it. You don't have the power. I do. The Indeed. I'm trying to kill myself. You should do it. No. I'm not talking to anybody into her harming themselves. It's a serious issue, obviously. The Bible is way stronger than you. Good joke. Almost like good joke. I died and she showed me the way. Almost. Oh. Like a full sentence. I'm trapped. Oh. Oh. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but you obviously can travel. Right? I win. No. No, you don't. Our challenge is not. Real. Oh, I'm getting chills again. Oh, no. Oh. I don't think that was you. Okay. You're losing. We're not losing. You're actually... Colin's in a coma. <laughs> Almost. Oh, that was creepy. I don't think it... Oh, Colin! Okay, that's... What do you want from me, Sally? The chances... Are you guys moving? Yes. Yes. Yeah? Yes. Yeah. Just moved. My legs are going down. Are you making my legs... Going numb. I'm losing feeling. <laughs> oh my god. That's weird. I'm losing feeling. My legs are numb. <laughs> no feeling. Next <laughs> up. Where do you want The blonde go? one. Where do you want to go next? Crash. Where do you want to go next? Tonight. No, if that's... Oh, no, we're not. there's more of us here. How many? Standing in the rain. Can you feel like yep. Are the you, rabbit. Rabbit. One. Okay. The goat. Oh, he's behind you. Where's he gonna be? Okay, who's behind me? That's why I kept I just said it. I kept mm -hmm. there's something behind me. 
House of Rock. Fear. Wow, we were just at the House of Rock. Mm -hmm. Yep. Okay. I was, I was with, He's I was never, with. I never asked this much. Okay. So what do you mean you were with? Where? Well. Get outside now. Do you want to go downstairs? Should we go downstairs? I was there in the basement. Downstairs? Grateful for this trip. Thanks. <laughs> Sorry if I'm singing that. You're laughing. Oh, this is crazy. Your bed is made. Okay, where, where? I'm coming. Proves it. I'm gonna say murder. murder. I know you're here, obviously. There's three of us. Um. The Trinity? Right? Is that what that is? I'm at the bottom. Okay, what's a name? Don't go down. There's a male voice. What? is a name that you go by. Give us a name that you go by. Soiled. Yes, you are filthy. Dirt. <laughs> Soiled and dirt. Mm -hmm. uh, I gotta get going. Where are you Be faithful. Go? Look ahead. Ouija board. Oh, sorry. Ouija board. You did it. Oh, that. F I'm feeling creepy after hearing that. Oh, you made us. What did we make you do? Yo, what? What else do you want to tell us? We're going to wrap this up. Oh, I see a blue face with yellow cat eyes. Like a woman going like this. Oh, it's like a horror movie in my mind that I'm seeing. A blue-faced woman. I have to draw this after this, going like this. And she's got yellow cat eyes, sounds vertical, like, big like teeth, an and hanging an black hair. Melty, decrepit face. Who are you? Maybe that's you. Okay, we're, we're going to leave. What do you want to tell us before we leave? What's a message uh, you want to tell us? Get f***ed. Huh. Get oh God. F***ed on the radio. Oh, it's crazy if that's true. That, that would you hear me? No. A message. Oh, yeah. A know? message. I heard a message. Oh. Okay, you're not, I don't even know what we should even say. Yeah. I don't even know what to say. You're just, yeah. You're your back and your- Orgy. Yeah, yeah. Just, you're just a nasty. rude. You know, I can just tell you that we know that- Minds. Our belief is much stronger than you. The Satan. No. No. It's not though. You're weak. Come eat with us. You know, mm. never. Nothing that. What do you think about my St. Christopher medal? It's lying over my, you know where. I'm blind to it. No, you're not. It's here. It's right here always. <laughs> I keep present. Oh, man. Okay. Yeah, yeah, no. It's all vile. Hanging. Oh, God. I keep hearing British voices for some reason. The wind really keeps Tickets to the show. Anybody smell smoke? I smelled smoke for half mm. a second. Like a charcoal, like a barbecue. Mm -hmm. hmm. That's weird that the wind just really yeah. came up outside. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Kind of incoming. Oh, God. The wind incoming, yes. Get back. Okay, so what do you think we should do? Oh, um, so much activity. I know. Maybe we should go down. I'm like, I think he's had so much. The Lord doesn't have you.
I think you have to quit. Yeah. We need to go down. Wow. Why? You got a ton of stuff. Yeah, it's wow. a way. Why? Just, it was just, so much. Oh, but I think so it's just much, kind man. of, like, Spot, it just kept saying, on. yeah, go down. Man. Spot on. Okay, I'm excited to watch that. I, it's very bright. Um, yeah. The wind just came up really hard. Yeah. Just that one. And then Colin, when you were windy. talking, those noises, and we caught which, it. Which noises? The staticky. Oh, like the two radio? times, and then it dude, said, "Come like, down." A dude, like four huh. times. Like, <laughs> yes, that's what I heard. Oh, Unbelievable. Yeah, not there. Yeah. And, I, and I got again. What was the, um, the our no? Did you ask a question that? had uh, relevance to yeah, that yeah. well i mean colin everything a ton of them it's just like well the but the no yeah. it's specific oh, we did because that we... was the clearest oh i said do you oh, want yeah. us to leave yes. oh, yeah oh yeah. Yeah. for sure that is f crazy because yeah. i it literally was like over like seven like ch -ch -ch -ch. Yeah. it was like no and then one like the really, necrophonics that's so weird like, that really stands out to me is like i asked you if you want to tell us, give us one message you want us to know. What is it? And you said, go f*** yourself. Oh, yeah. At the very end, too. Yeah. Yeah. It's our weird that they would, they would play that on a radio station. Yeah. If that's a radio station, you know, is what I was thinking. There's, there's, a, there's so many. I, mean, I think when you play it back, you're going to be you shocked. You keep looking over there, Mary. I just keep thinking I see something over there. Yeah. And he kept saying behind me, and there was, uh -huh. there was like something... Dude, when I was seeing that blue-faced woman at the very end, it was yeah. like, a, like imagine the grudge, Ooh. you know, like long, dark hair, and she was like this, and smiling and staring at me, yellow eyes like mm. a cat, up and down. I, ha I have to draw it, but blue-faced for some reason. Never, because when you do an Estes method to kind of explain to people also, you are almost in a trance where all you're hearing is like, Ch -ch 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 -ch, and then you're blacked out. And sometimes, like I said, I saw a horse. For some reason, I saw a galloping horse. Is there a horse in here? You're right here. Right here. Oh! Oh! No no fucking way! Behind me. Dude. I think I need the light. Did that ever go off? Can I turn the light on here? Yeah, it yeah. Did. Yes, it did. Actually. Yo, that so is this nuts, one. dude. God, dude, that is crazy. Uh, it's behind you too, look at, dude. Look at the blue eyes. Oh, wow. it's blue. Bye. That's weird. That is very bizarre. And I do want to state, I wasn't seeing a, like a rocking horse. But I was seeing like a galloping yeah. horse, but still. Wow. Very strange. That's weird. weird. You know, and then you had, um, I think you had a bunny. Oh yeah, bunny. Yeah, I remember. Or rabbit. A rabbit. Rabbit. Yeah. What's this? Oh, oh, oh! And it said toys earlier too. Uh huh. That's blue. Oh, dude! Right next to me. Oh, rabbit there too. Right next to me. Oh. Surrounded by it. Well, I guess. So we kind of like. In the end, I don't know if you, you need any more. I think no. we got it. I I'm think ready, we need I'm to go. To get out. Yeah. We got a ton, dude. We wow. Got, this was even scarier that was, tonight than the first one, I would say. That was wow. weird. Oh, you hit, like, you hit a ton. You have to wait and see. I mean, and just the energy I got from the oh, session. Oh, my glasses. Whoops. But, Colin, everything. And it would just be like you were so mean. <sighs> Answers. Yeah, I remember something about Sister Whore or something like that. Like, you said something about... Like Tessa. Yeah. Yeah, yeah and yeah, then, that's what I mean. Oh, oh, Mary, Mary, look it, what? look it, no, no, no. right when you're no, coming no, no, no. downstairs. I know. God damn it. Here, oh, the static got it, I think. My camera won't turn on. What the hell? Look at this. My camera won't turn on. Mary. Okay, I'll also, see. Mary, look at, look at this. My camera will not turn on. But look, that was not going off at all. No, this the static had to have gotten that. Look at though. I just turned this off, mm -hmm. and it will not turn on. This is how you would turn it on usually. Here's the power button. Oh, you're right, Colin. The memory card's full. Ugh. 
Dude, oh. that is bizarre. Yeah, I literally I know. just turned this off. And we're just, that's, that's it not, wasn't dying. That's not gone off the whole time no. we've been yeah. in this room. And you're not even close to no, shifting. No. It's We're way up the stairs. Yeah. It's on the other side. Ugh. At the bottom of the stairs, like trying to block us. Okay, I'm going. God. Be careful. Wow, that is freaky about this camera, too, to me. Leave us What's alone. It? Oh, right when. Oh. No way. I know. What the hell? It just stopped when you th crossed the threshold right there? Oh my God. I can barely speak because I'm so well, dumbfounded. On the camera, too. I, I, I hope to God that thing was recording. Wow, this is nuts. This is literally... I thought we'd come back here and it'd be kind of lame. Uh-huh. Oh! oh. Okay. Yeah, but... Right when you walk by. Yeah, but when I... But when you walk by, it stops. No, oh, jeez, I got too much stuff in my hands. Okay, Sally, shut up. The wind really came up, which is strange. I just worn out. this fucking camera is completely <sighs> fried. It was not even... The battery wasn't even blinking. That's so weird. Isn't that bizarre that right when I'm trying to... Yes, that, yes. That door just opened right next to me while I was peeing. I just oh flushed God. off camera. Oh my, I literally burst through this door. Did yes. you see that? Yes, I, literally... I did. Yes. Oh my God. Sorry, that scared the hell out of me, dude. Oh this door God. just opened. That Is nobody uh, frightened by that? Yeah. yeah. You guys are very yeah. not reacting right well, now. You know, we're kind of like, I didn't even get to finish happened. peeing. Really? <laughs> no, I literally oh, was. No. You better go back. No, I was just saying, like, oh my god, that, literally, look at this. Not to be graphic, but I was, like, standing here doing my business, and this literally went like this. Ew, the haunted toilet bowl brush. It's back here. Oh. Yeah. The stairway? Yeah, this is under the, what if there's something under the stairs? Ugh. That was me. Oh my god. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry. Okay. Oh, I am gonna finish. Okay, so it's the end of the night here at the Sally House. We've packed every. Ooh. There you go. <laughs> oh, that is so sweet. Yeah. Um, we've packed everything out. We're done. Such an incredible, incredible night. I'm sure that just like with the last video, we're gonna have some dreams after this, so I'm not gonna call this the official end of the video. It should be noted that right as we were, what? It should be noted that right as we were leaving, it started to rain. You can hear the thunder, there's lightning in the sky. And we actually brought sage tonight, this is my parents' idea, um, to cleanse ourselves after this. But we combed the entire Sally house, we combed the car, all of our bags and we cannot find the lighter that we brought and there's no matches so I don't know if that's fate or some weird message but we're gonna do this tomorrow at our hotel and after our final investigation of the trip mm -hmm. um, but definitely I've said already nobody can follow us home again here I uh, crazy what's gonna come out of this episode though with all these places and uh, if it's following us all over the place but don't follow us. <laughs> you know, it's interesting that uh, I was reading some of the journal entries in there from some people. They said, I was reading some people that said it was very frightening and very evil to them. And I read other people that wrote, they didn't feel like it was dark, it was playful. So it seems like there's two sides to this house. We've kind of touched the dark side, or it has actually touched us and latched onto us. But then there's also the playful side, which some people would say is a demon disguised as a girl. Well, it's playing with but the lights and playing with us. I mean, it is interesting. It's a different term. I don't have an explanation for anything that just happened, but yeah, we're gonna. Yeah. Thanks to my two wonderful parents, by the way, for doing all this with me. Oh. I love these guys. We're lucky that yes. you let us come along. No, no, no. Oh no, you guys we are. are. You guys are the show with me. Oh. You're the show. No, oh my God, shut up. We love you. Show. We love you. <laughs> okay, anyways. <laughs> uh, well, it's weird that it just stopped, oh, lightning. Oh. But it stopped raining right when we started filming. That's weird. 
The wind came up, by the way, when you were doing your SS method. Really uh -huh. came up. The storm front came in. Mm -hmm. It was basically. like, yeah. That's creepy. It too. was creepy. Yeah, yeah. Weird timing. Okay, well. All right, it's time through. to do a wrap. Yep. Oh, and right there, the rain came again. I can see it starting. Oh, you can hear the wind pick up. You can hear the Your thunder roll. Bad. Okay, everybody. Okay. Sally, whoever you are, stay there. Stay here. Do not well. follow us home. Anywhere. <laughs> but you know, it's funny. I feel like she's going to follow us. Wait till you look back at all of us. It's unbelievable. Yeah. yeah. Stay there, and we're going to stay... Spooky. <laughs> <laughs> This is not really the night to be all happy at the end because that was a tough night. Oh. Sorry. <laughs> that was action. But I'm still happy to be with you oh. guys. I'm just, oh. Oh. The oh. spooky fan. Ooh. Spooks. Okay. Well. All right. If we have any more dreams, we'll recount them soon. Yeah. Okay. Okay. See you, Sally. you saw that footage, that is all absolutely mind-blowing. Honestly, the whole investigation is so, so crazy to see how the religious items that we brought into the house, to see how that killed some of the activity, the way that all those devices were spiking at the same time, the radios, I have no idea how that's even physically possible to have that happen when the radios are unscrewed and turned off in a bag. It's like unbelievable, unbelievable stuff. And I don't know, once again, we were there and it's just evil. It truly is just, it is an evil, evil place that, I don't know. Yeah, it's, it's affected all of us. Um, I know for myself, I've had nightmares once again not sleep paralysis, but I've had some, some very, very bad, very graphic, scary dreams since returning to the house. I know my parents have had some bad luck. People in Courtney and I's families have gotten into car crashes. <laughs> and I'm not trying to connect all these dots and tell you that it's because of this, but it's weird when you consider the timing of, of all of these things. And yeah, I hope part two lived up to part one. In my opinion, I think part two really was even crazier than part one. But I'm gonna keep you guys all updated on what's happening, what's happened, and uh, and everything else. We're gonna be doing some pretty big videos. Penhurst, again, coming up soon. The Texas Killing Fields, part two. That video also got 1.2 million views last year. Thanks to everybody, thank you all. But just remember, no matter where you are, I don't think you're ever fully safe or protected from from evil because just like with the sally house it's a house that has no real history and yet it's just this black stain on the neighborhood it's this serious portal of just a, a bad bad energy and um and yeah i'm just i'm glad to be done with this video for now but Thank you all for watching. I love you all so much. Please, if you like this video, you like these long documentaries, hit the subscribe button, like the video, leave me that comment, and um, until next time, it's Colin Brown here. Once again, thank you all for watching from the bottom of my heart, and stay spooky.